Alright, hello and welcome back everyone! Hello and welcome back. How's it going, Valinor? How's it going, the Drunk Prison Guard? How are you guys doing today? Let's jump right back on in. How's it going, Delka? Hello, hello. Let's jump right back on in. We weren't raided, oh thank goodness. I went and I, I went and stashed stuff, but I was a little worried we'd get raided. I was a little worried. Um, let's see. There's some new names I haven't seen before. A good number of names I haven't seen before, actually, popping on. Hmm. You're still sick? I don't know. Delka, don't do that. <laughs> Managed to get some sleep, though? That's good. Jeez, oh, what is it? This is flickering, and that was obnoxious. And your GPU came in? Nice. All right, so things are starting to look up. That's great. So I went and did another quick run. Uh, when I went and stashed stuff, I grabbed some extra fiber, I grabbed some extra... Um, not the hides, this is all from what we had before. Um, grab some extra stone. Not a lot of stone, as you can see. A little more iron. I just did a quick run of each of the materials that's nearby for us to nab. Just to save us some time. And I was hoping that we weren't going to get raided so we wouldn't lose all of it. And we didn't, so it's great. Let's just go ahead and get that cooking. And get his cooking. Get those rolling. And over here, we got more brick. Oh my goodness, we're actually going to have a... a <laughs> I, think, I think we're good. I think it's time to just go crazy on building. I think we're, I think we're at the point where we can just go crazy on building. But this, this chest is empty, as you can see, because we moved all of our important stuff out of here. So it's all stashed. We'll have to go and grab it. We actually don't need this much steel fire, so we'll leave the rest of the steel fire in here for right now. Go ahead and pull the reinforcements. Keep on cooking. Go. Bam. All right. So we can just we can kind of just go straight into building. We <laughs> we've got we've got what we need. Um, we can start with this, and then I can go grab stuff from the stash. And then we should be able to just run straight into getting some building done. Let's go and do a, a quick resource gathering first before we do that, though. If the fool is the fool, you in trouble, my guy? I mean, as long as you don't pull the tarot card, the fool will be okay, right? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Fingers crossed. Alright, so we need to go get some more wood, because I think shape wood might actually be a limiting factor for us right now. Oh! He's a peep. He's a PvP god. Are, did, did we disconnect? Is this tree just immortal? What? Okay. All right. Uh, those trees. Those trees are just immortal. Don't don't mind those trees. Ah, from playing Lady Bits. Yeah, Lady Bits has some uh, pretty strong PVPers. It's true. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those trees. Those trees over there, they're they're immortal. We we can't take them down. I don't know. I don't know. We'll take these though. We'll get on these. Yeah, we'll need to get some more stone, we'll need to get some more iron, because all of our furnaces stopped, stopped running. We also need to go and do a coal run. We also need to go try and pick up our thralls. I didn't take a look at that. We should take a look at that super quick while we're standing out here and exposed. Um, did we get raided at our other location? Decayed stuff. Dismantled. No, this is while we were online. We're fine. I'm like, wait, dismantled? Uh, we, we were online. That, that was us dismantling those. We're good to go. You need to hop into the post office to grab your SSD tomorrow, and then you can upgrade your computer. That's awesome. Uh, I need to I need to sit down and look at potentially doing some upgrades to this computer. I upgraded the CPU on this computer four years ago, I think. Oh, you don't play a lot of games that actually require a super strong uh, GPU, though. And we've got plenty of RAM for everything. I mean. We're playing on we're playing on ultra, 
Except for foliage, because we want to be able to see sticks, scrubs, and mushrooms on the ground. So that's the only reason why we're not putting the foliage up to up to cinematic. But you know, we're we're able to run this game at full blast. But I haven't done any upgrades on this in a while. Something to look into. Something I should look into. We're gonna need to go and repair this. We're gonna need to go make some more. Oh, you know what? We're almost out of brimstone. No, we're not. Oh, we got. I take that back. We have plenty of brimstone. We're almost out of coal, though. But we could do a brimstone and coal run at the same time when we go pick up our thralls, because we have two smelters. So we gotta go nab them right quick. I'm gonna go nab those two smelters real quick if here if we can. Getting two smelters online. What was it two smelters? No, we dropped the carpenter. Was it, it was two smelters, a blacksmith, and a, uh, and Anna the Reaver. The, that's who we have, yeah. Again. It's pretty good. Come here, Rhino. I need some hides. I know for sure our stuff stopped running. I need some more hides. You feel like if you're at the point, you'd be upgrading your CPU. You'd be replacing the whole, uh, the whole thing, but your GPU is lagging behind. You figured it, you'd splurge a little. Oh yeah, well I'm, that's one of the things though is that I think for upgrades, I think the CPU is more likely what we're gonna need to do for my computer, for my rig here, just because we play very CPU intensive games whenever we play the gold like battle sim games. Your Stellaris, your Crusader Kings. Your Hearts of Iron, you know, just all the Paradox games. Or even games like, uh, like Remortal and like. Those types of games can get a little laggy if you don't. My goodness, it is just Immortal. Alright, we've got some Immortal trees. I, I don't know who planted them there, but by golly, they're going nowhere, that's for sure. Alright, go ahead and let's at least get you back online with the power of branches. You cooking... Get you cooking. Alright. Actually we are we are running a little low on brimstone. A little, a little low. Not, not very low though. There's the load. There we go. Good gracious, we have so much resin. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all this resin. <laughs> we have we have way more resin than I know what to do with. Holy. Good gracious. Not too sure what to do with it. Uh, this is all of our thick leathers. No, that's the wrong button. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, this is all the thick stuff. And bark. Go. Perfect. Um, thick stuff. Bam. You get the regular stuff. Off you go. 400 in that guy, so none in this guy. 500 in that guy, alright. We got a lot of bark that's piled up too now. Like a lot. We're gonna stack it up in here. Branches, we'll take the regular wood. Drop off tar. This, like, this is another thousand steel. We are really just churning at this point. It's amazing. Okay, we can go ahead and make me two more of those. I don't know how much more we're going to need, though. Get over 2k. Drop you off. We just need the, the fiber more than anything else, really. A little bit of iron stone. Let's get that in my pockets. Oh, run that. I've just been dumping. Can I? Can I harvest this? No? <laughs> Trying to harvest the plant. I've just been dumping our extra meats into lichen here. When we went on that little run off stream. All the extra stuff we picked up. You could all see it, make sure it's visible. Alright, uh, wood, we might as well just make some more. Another 200. Again, super inefficient using the basic benches, but it's like. It's not hard to get this wood. It's ridiculous. Look at how much we've got in just this run. One run. We're already at 600 shaped wood. 800 shaped wood. 
thousand shaped wood and, and change. A thousand eight shaped wood. It's a bunch. How's it going, one? One sixty, have you been? Go ahead and repair this bad boy. I thought we weren't gonna have enough. Nice. Fully repaired. Excellent. You initially bought the current one, uh, GTX 1660 Ti, as an emergency replacement to a dead GPU rather than the planned upgrade. The <laughs> so you went over budget. Mm. But hey, it's gonna be fun when you got it up and running, right? You buy all the cores. How's it going, Laser Roth? How are you doing today? You don't play a lot of intensive games, but you do a lot of visualization. Ah, so you have to buy more RAM. Okay. It's six cores isn't enough for what you're doing. <laughs> hey, Rosophie, how are you doing today? Burger? Oh, man, I can go for a burger. I can eat a burger right now. Is there anything new on the map? Any new, any gotting attacks? Any, we need to do, we gotta do a, uh, a scouting run at some point. We gotta do a scouting run. We have no idea what's going on outside of our little world. Hydrate, you got it. How's it going, Apnea? Bomb's going off on G10, you say? Wait, G10? Oh, that's Swamp, that, that's Swamp Donkeys last I checked. They're the only guys I know in this region. And again, that was from three weeks ago, so my data is very old, Apnea. Yeah. Gracious. We've got a lot of blood. It's good. Alright. Oh, this is still cooking. Nice. I'm hydrated. Thank you for selfie. I appreciate it. Sounds like uh, I'm gonna... The drunk prison guard. It sounds like I might need to get some uh, PvP lessons from that guy. get better at PvP, because right now my, my PvP skills are survive, not, uh, not head-on combat. My skills, I thrive in the survival aspect of PvP. But the head-on, head-on conflict, I tend to struggle. I do, anyone that's, mo that's like, okay at PvP or worse is, oh, hey, look, there's fools. <laughs> fools. Face me. I love it. I want to do building today, but we should probably ask for some lessons from fools. Probably do that. All right, let's get to let's get focused on building here. Oh, that's not us. Like walked over it. Okay, we've got eighty that we can place, so let's get to work. We're still building more. We should go do an iron run, but I'd like to go and place these down now since we are still in raid window. I don't expect to get raided, but we could get raided. And I'd rather have these on the ground. All right, so I think this is where we end the setup. And then from here, we can then curve out the castle design. I think we're good here. So I think we're just going to... Do we just plaster across for the rest of this? Or do we want to start working on a different portion of this? Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is a character? Yeah, we're playing as... We're, we're playing as a guy. Or are you talking about uh, Fool? Fool's a player character. Person chilling on the server. Right, let's go and let's just level this whole section here. Let's clear this place out. Clear this place out. Let's get some get some vis visualization here. We need to see what we're doing. Hopefully, there are no immortal trees over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna need this space. Okay, well that's that's an immortal plant. We found one, but we can plaster over immortal plants, so that's good. We 
can we can plaster over them. It's a little awkward being there, but I can't pick it. We get the picking animation. We can't actually pick it. I don't know. I wonder if this has to do with the most recent patch that went through. That patch that fixed duping. I wonder if that's messed up some of the, like, just harvestables. I don't know how it would, but that was the most recent patch. It wasn't the problem before. Figure this out. I do like the trees and how they kind of spawn over here. Yeah, something happened because they spawned in the. Yeah, some, something happened. They spawned within our within our building. I don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. Hmm. So let's just uh, square this out. Let's let's get a an outline set up. How far can we go before we have to go up? We can go this far before we have to go up a floor. I think honestly we will just go up a floor regardless. Here's the thing. I don't. We're not going to connect all the way in. This is probably going to be a triangle. Let's probably triangle this out. We kind of want to raise it up a bit. Let's get some. Let's get some height here. Okay. So if this is going to be the castle, and we want the castle entrance kind of to come in this way, I don't know how how we want to do that really diagonally. Probably be better if we have it come up and around up through here. Because that's where the, the purge is going to happen. The purge is going to run from out here. It's going to try and bust down these gates. Get into the inner courtyard. And then get into the castle. So if we have the castle entrance like here. I think that would work. We just need to raise it one level. We could raise it a level and we can have... Some stairs coming up to it. Come on now. There we go. And we can grab some stairs. The main thing is we have to decide where the center is going to be. Let's see here. One, two. Oops. Easier doing it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Centered. So eleven, then we can go twelve, thirteen if we want to go further. But we'll just use this as our our start point. But if we had it something like this, where this would bring you up to the main castle, then we go for a gate. Can you let me center this? No? Oh, now. Okay. Go for that gate. Oh, let's just not want to see if we can... Okay, there we go. I'm going to have to look up. Yeah, and we said it like so. It's just, I don't know why it was fighting with us there. And we set up the main gate. We want a big gate to get into the house? I don't know if we want a gate to get into the castle. Another gate would be nice just because it would be another big old wall for the purge to have to go through, which would be nice. I don't know if that's necessarily what we, want, what we need or want to do. I think I'd rather have it up closer, too. We could always layer gates, but I don't think the Purge likes layered gates. We can always add those in later. After doing some testing and seeing if the Purge is okay with it or not.
And an interesting thing we could do is we could actually make a little um, underground space. So if we make this kind of like the main... Yeah, we could have a we could have a downstairs. So if we had like a lower floor underneath the throne room, that'd be kind of cool. You want to see a purge base? You have one that solo levels tens, no problem. Nice. I know. That's, that's that's. I need to I need to go figure that out. So far, we've managed to do level twos through our through our playthroughs. So I need to. I need to up my game. Yeah, I'll just make sure it's stable. We're hitting the part where it's a little on the low side. What we could do is we can look at having a lower a lower section. Yeah. Borrow this for a second here. In which, you know, we've got like a downstairs and then maybe another door that goes out here. Like the to the wall. I'm tempted to move the castle space to here. Hmm. This suggestion for a game is called Deathloop. What kind of game is Deathloop? Oh my goodness, yeah, no, look, they all just respawned in here. Um, hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh. how do we, how do we take care of that? Does anyone know what to do? <laughs> that's going to make the, that, that just fills up a lot of the tavern. The tavern just lost a lot of space. Does anyone know what we can do to get rid of this? It just, I, I don't know what to do. Some of these things aren't a problem. We haven't had an issue with any of the others, but... That that one... I guess we could try and mine it. How did I not even notice it from outside? I can't mine any of this stuff. It's all in spaces where it shouldn't be spawning. Maybe it's just visual? I can't break it. It's immortal. For, for reasons. Beyond my comprehension. They're, they're, they're immortal. They take no damage. Can't break them. Anyone have an idea on what we're supposed to do? Because it's the same problem with these guys here. I'm curious, does this do does this do durability? No, it doesn't. It doesn't even do durability. I wonder if it's just a visual thing and it's on my side and I just have to re-log. Huh. I have no idea. All I know is it's where it's not supposed to be. That's all I know. These bricks. Got the uh, little branch top off. You're burning wildly. All the rest of my branches. Bark. steel. Do we still have iron line? That just it's gonna take too long in that one, so we'll just steal it. Steal the steel. Take another hundred and change. Get these. Those. Okay, so it looks like as expected the hardened brick's gonna be our limiting factor here. We'll probably get that other furnace on hardened brick in a second here. Yeah. Hmm. Not too sure what we can do about this. We'll try relogging in a bit. We'll just uh, let's finish off building with what we're building because it's not a problem right now. But we'll need to go do that. <laughs> I spy a man not playing Power World. How's it going? How are you doing, Monarch? How have you been? Yeah, we're playing. We're busy playing other great games. Heard good things about it, but I've not really looked into it. 
right, we'll get that going. Drop off our bugs in here for now, as well as our seeds. Our resin is beyond ridiculous at this point. More resin than I know what to do with, literally. We'll probably have to just start tossing it, because I don't know what to do. We have so much of it. Okay, and then a bunch of wood that we don't need to do anything with right now. We can just save it for later and burn it, potentially. Yeah, okay, hardened brick is definitely our... Our choke point right now. Let's go and swap you over to just you're in charge of all the steel production. Slow little furnace. You're in charge. We have enough steel coming in right now. Uh, reinforcements and the like. I think we're I think we're fine at our current speed. What we really need right now is to get on top of this. Stone. Hardened brick needs to get sorted. Been playing Power Worlds and Minecraft mostly. It's been good. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Well, welcome, welcome. Well, I'll go and crack open our stash in a minute here. We can keep on building. But I am tempted to actually run... You know, I'm tempted to go and grab our thralls. Those two tier two smelters could be quite useful. Putting them on the big furnaces. Quite useful. Uh, Apnea, do you know who's raiding who right now? Since you said there are explosions going off in uh, G10. Any inkling as to what's going down over there? I like these foundations more so than ceilings to walk on. The ceilings do look quite regal, though. If we want to have a lower floor, we're going to need to use these ceilings. Let's see here. Oh, after your nose, like you supplied them with the bombs. <laughs> you want to play with foundations? Probably not, honestly. <laughs> foundations at the front, sure, but maybe we just go to walls? We don't need a double stack foundations like this. They're sturdier than walls, yeah. Uh, walls. Why can't I? There you go. I think I see walls. Right? Or am I re remembering incorrectly? Yeah, they're sturdier than walls. The foundations are nice to have. We don't need them. <laughs> don't tell me your secrets. <laughs> All right. We'll keep the secret. Don't you worry, Apnea. It's the brick, right? Yeah, it's the brick that's the real limiting factor here. The reinforcements use the least out of on the whole bunch. But yeah, so this way, I don't like one high spaces, but we could have a one high lower, like... Hmm. Or we can knock this up one more level, and then we can have a two high underground. I was just thinking we've had like dancers and maybe storage underground. We could do something like that. Then we'd be running around in there all the time. Hmm. Grab this. Yeah, I don't know why I can't harvest that and it's getting obnoxious. Again, that one's not too bad because it's going to be built over, but. That boulder in our that boulder in our tavern is making me sad. I don't know if I want a gate. Hmm. Bombs, what is this game? What shenanigans are you guys up to? Uh so have you ever played or know of a game like Ark or Rust? It's kind of like that, but different. 
It's, it's like that, but different. Yeah, can't can't mine that either. I bet I can't mine these because they're too close. No, I can. Okay. I'm gonna say they're too too close to the walls. I mean, it is kind of cool having these trees here, but if we ever wanted to make this to stop players from getting in, that's a problem. No. Luckily, we're not trying to stop players from getting into the raid base or into the purge base. It's not that big of a deal. So when the purge comes to raid us, not that big. All right, go ahead and let's drop off this material and let's go do a quick run. We just kind of have to wait for more brick. Not much we can do until we get it. Getting those furnace guys would be a big boon. It'd speed us up quite a bit. You've got 400 still to burn. You've got 800, so you'll give it to you. Okay. Let's. Oh, before we forget, you know what? You know what I kept complaining about forgetting? That's right. A yellow lotus potion. Which we're going to make right now. We have a little extra stamina. This suggestion would be to purge now and try it. Uh, it's not great on hills. Uh, easy to botch the build. Yeah, we'll go do that in a minute. I think I want to go and grab the, grab the guys first. Just get a little bit more building material. But yeah, we're, we should. You're absolutely right. Before we finish the build, we definitely should. I don't remember where the yellow lotus potion brings you. I don't remember where this wisp takes you. Hmm. Do a level one. It works sweet. Then take the gold out. Purge stops. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got. We still have all the gold and everything. When we got raided from this guy over here. Good old squawk jibs before he got raided by whoever raided him. <laughs> um he didn't take our our 70 or 700 gold coins, so we have the coins on hand. We can do a level one purge. No problem. How's it going, Katie? How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you. It's good to be back. I'm glad we're back to streaming again. Got my voice back for the most part good. You know how to get unlimited gold easy? Um, from my understanding, we can, like, convert stuff into gold. Is that right? Otherwise, uh, a super easy way to get a whole bunch of gold would be, like, going and mining it. Or, I mean, gold's pretty easy to get these days. Oh, the new raid base. No, I haven't done anything with that. Oh, wait, isn't there, like, an entire, like room that's just covered in gold in the new raid base in the um whatchamacallit i'm blanking on its name because we haven't been there Ten thousand gold coins it takes two minutes oh my goodness that's insane how many explosives do you need to get in there but yeah i did see that you could level your thralls to level 20 instantly by killing the boss that's crazy and i think that needs to be patched that's a little ridiculous I doesn't take any bombs at all. Wow. Four bombs and a battering ram. Okay. Battering rams you can find there, though. I think, right? What are you reporting on tonight? Heavy rain in the jungle? Snow in the north? Or a hurricane? Ah, yes. 1.5 battering rams. Okay. Huh. It's pretty easy to do. You can find four bombs in a battery room there. Oh, wow. Okay. So all the materials you need are just, like, right there for you. That's convenient. Um, but, yeah, I think that they should patch out the... I should have brought my truncheon with me. I brought my truncheon with me. Nice. Means we can go ahead and take a peek and see if there's other thralls you want to grab. Um, yeah, I think they should patch that out so you don't instantly level your thralls to 20. I think that's... I think that's ridiculous. But, but, they should patch in a brand new station, brand new crafting station, called the Training Yard, 
or the training or take the training dummy and make it a place where you can put a thrall in with a taskmaster and have them level up at least to level 10 on their own without you having to do anything. <laughs> Funcom patching anything, silly Zelda? Well, they patched in some stuff earlier this week, right? Yeah? Right? They changed the XP gain for the boss after Christmas, and it's still enough to level to 20? Wow. That's actually really bad. That's actually that's actually really bad, and uh, let me explain why that's really bad. So, going through and killing the boss in the new raid base thing that they made instantly levels your thralls to level twenty because the value is too high. Not the best. That should be patched. Now, this is why that's really bad. They then went and fixed it, but didn't fix it enough, which means they don't know enough about their own game or whoever was doing it doesn't play enough uh, of the game to understand the amount of experience required to level someone up to max and thus didn't didn't actually do the job they spent the time trying to fix it but didn't actually fix it that's really bad that's 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 not good that's a bad sign heard they fixed dupes is the correct uh oh yeah that's i think apnea was mentioning that they they fixed dupes. That was the patch that happened this week. I was talking about. I will say uh, they are more proactive. Wow, uh, they're they're not proactive. They're more reactive. They're they're no. They're just they're just faster than they have been in the past at fixing these things. They're they're getting faster at fixing these things because there have been some like dupe issues and which not whatnot that's popped up in the past and it just sat around for you know like six months and they did nothing about it but now they're doing it in like a couple months yeah see it took four years to fix the sky bases yeah that's what i'm saying like they're getting faster every official should be wiped period i am of the same opinion so uh drunk raising regard i personally think it should be just standard stock standard normal that every single official server every single official server gets completely wiped every single new age which now means once a year um i would like it to be every chapter but since chapters roll one thing into another and they try and hype people up by getting them to go and they collect the things um for the next chapter, then I guess I guess we can't really do that. But at the very least, wipe every single server at the start of every new age. Right? It'd be awesome. Oh, drunk prison guards nipples. Oh my goodness. Okay. This all it all clicks. It makes sense now. Thank you. Alright, Frizz Guard, thank you. Now I know. I was like, goodness, you sound the way you're the way you're talking, you sound so familiar. I gotcha. But yeah, I, I would like it if they would like it, it needs to get wiped. It just badly needs to be wiped. It's a, it is a problem. In a lot of other games similar to this one, you know, like we mentioned earlier, like Ark and Rust, they wipe servers and things are fine. Right? Talking with 8k hours of experience? Yeah, I trust your experience on that. I'm not quite at 1,000 yet. I'm at 800 and change. Wait, is that a... Oh, yeah, it is. That's what we were looking for. Oh, huge. All right, we can go raiding. All right, we can go raiding whenever we want to now. Got all the demon blood we needed. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, got all of our tier two nonsense here. Perfect. All right, let's go see if there's anyone good. Grab ourselves some brimstone. Grab ourselves some coal and head back. You agree except on PvE servers? Oh yeah, true. PvE servers don't have to you don't have to do it, but PvP for sure does. You're purely PvP, but it's so bad. And someone sits with uh yeah, there's full body of avatars because of duping. Yeah. You have more hours. But too embarrassed to say, you'll take it to your grave? Oh come on! It's a badge of honor for how long you've been playing this amazing game. It's a it's a badge of honor. What do you mean? 
drinking that. Nothing special, nothing special. But, I'll take your hide. I really should be here with a an actual dagger or some kind to like pick up. We probably should be working on Mitra whenever we're doing these runs. Uh, let's get a torch because it is dark in here. You look at yourself and say, "Hey, Katie, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> you're in, you're enjoying it with a with a little bit of a, a little bit of Conan, a lot of bit of Conan, a massive quantity of Conan." You're enjoying life with an astronomical amount of Conan. With just like an, an oppressive amount of Conan. That's it, it's you're doing fine. Ooh, a tier three. Yeah, if you're having fun, you're good. Some some people binge watch the same show many times over. Like there's some people out there that are like, yeah, no, I've watched Bill and Blank ten times. It's like you know there's like a, an obscene amount of uh, episodes in that, right? Like, you know, some people go and... I, I don't watch TV much. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but, okay, there, like, there are people out there that's like, yeah, I've watched uh, Star Trek Next Generation like ten times. It's like... That's a, that's a lot. That, that, is, that is a lot. It's a lot. Um, and I'd say... It is good. But... I'd also say... You're not really getting any new experience out of that. At least with like Conan and video games and whatnot, you can get new experiences as you're playing along. That kind of media, not so much. Do what you want to do, you know, whatever you like doing in your downtime, it's up to you, but I'm just saying. Quite a bit. Come here, Carpenter. Oh yeah, lockdown life. 90% of those hours came from there. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Can't go outside, hang out with friends, family, go do things you used to. Yeah. Well, especially if you're playing with friends on online games, then having extremely high like, game hours is nowhere near as um, embarrassing. Because it's like, hey, I spent this time hanging out with friends. A valuable use of time. We'll get you started. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know if you saw that. I shouldn't have done that. It just warp speeded. I saw the timer up here. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited until we got them all in here before we hit it. It just warped. That is one bug I am a okay with having. They don't need to fix that bug. That bug can stick around. I've got no issues with the warp speed bug. I'm totally fine with that. Oh no, my crafting bench just instantly finished the thing that I put it up to. What a travesty. The immersion. Yeah, I've got no problems with that one. Oh, what else we got down here? Who are you? An exile. Be gone. Bonk. Got some wraps on you. Recorded. Who are you? Carpenter 2, Armor 1. Nope. He's Dancer 2 and a Dancer 2. Let's just go and check everyone else here real quick. Hanner 1. Fighter, Armor, Alchemist. Hey, now we're talking. An Alchemist Tier 4 is quite useful. We'll take that. Nope. Oh my goodness. I hit the one I did not want to hit. Right as the frames dropped, too. Did you see that? Alright, we're just gonna... We're, we're just gonna... Clean, clean the slate. Clean the slate. It's fine. We'll come back later. Right as the frame drop. Oh... Oh my goodness, like, this is the one we want! Dead. Ah! Oh. My good gracious. My soul. <laughs> You're dying right now. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm dying a little inside right now. <laughs> I was so excited, too. It's okay. In, in our fury, we'll just murder the rest. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You're next out, you're next out. Gone. Gone. We should go to the summoning place and check them as well. Goodness, what's up with this? Uh, come here. Oh. Meats? No, not the arrows. Meats. Nice. Alright, well, we can go ahead and at least get all the brimstone that we came for. At least do that. We gotta, gotta carpenter and brimstone. All right, you're out of here, Laser Alt. All right, sleep well. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Always appreciate it. Maybe you can glue them back together. <laughs> it's okay. I only cleaved his head off his shoulders. We just need to go find some super glue. It's gonna be a-okay. -okay. Don't you worry, buddy. I'm gonna fix you right on up. And we can buff that out, right? <laughs> it's gonna be. Everything's gonna be fine. We're like. Is sitting on the floor, just sobbing, like gluing his gluing his head back on. You're gonna be all right, buddy. Don't you worry. You're gonna be just good as rain. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> just, just hang on. I, don't worry. You've got so much more to live for. I'm gonna force you to work until your hands bleed. Don't worry. Just hang on, buddy. Oh my goodness. That just that sounds awful. Although that does kind of. It does beg a question. Wouldn't it be interesting if there was a... Because, like, we've got the necromancy thing where you, like, you know, turn them into zombies. Wouldn't it be interesting if you could, like, maybe make some zombie thralls in crafting stations? Like some basic benches or something where you could use zombies? It'd be interesting. I don't know what you'd use them for. I'm going to have to think on this a little. What's my head? I will happily... Take them horns. Thank you very much. Oh, we still have some here we can grab. Which means the server you're on, and you probably have a body vault. Nah, nah. I pre I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but I, I I really enjoy harvesting and building everything from scratch. I lose a lot of interest in the game whenever I just kind of if I can like cheat mode stuff to me. I tend to lose a lot of interest in it. I appreciate it, but I would rather struggle along. I have more fun. Oh. Grab a little iron here. I do not need my torch in broad daylight. Crazy guy over here. All right, let's go grab some coal because we need some more of that. You're the same way. You never take from anyone, like doing it yourself. With respect, buddy. Well, thank you. The one thing I will take is. Um, scraps from bases that have been hollowed out. It's not a handout. That's me being a top tier grub. That, that's just that's just me being uh, extremely eco-friendly and doing uh being very green, you know. Hey, Sarah, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome. How'd your stream go? What was it? Jeez, that hyena is having a little too much fun rolling down the hill here. You know, you need a box with you next. You, you want to go down the hill in a box. It's going to be way more fun, and you're not going to skin your shins like you just did. Good gracious, man. Oops. Doing well? Good, good. What were you playing today? Alright. Who here in chat has done box sliding? Bo box sledding? Has anyone here done box sledding before? I've done box sledding before. And, you know, you think any box will do. Turns out... No. <laughs> the box really matters. The box you're playing with really matters. I remember doing box sledding once, and I went down... How did I miss that coal? I went down, uh, uh, like, a pretty steep hill in a box, and I went in a flat-screen TV box that we found. Now, you'd think that was fine, but listen, we, like, wedged ourselves into the box. It was one person at a time, as flat as a board, or at least as flat as you could get. The problem with that box is it spun. <laughs> so, as you're sliding down the hill, suddenly your head's going the wrong way. Your head is now looking down at the bottom of the hill. Oh my goodness, that was terrifying. A lot of fun, but terrifying. There's no real coal in this little valley spot here. There's a little bit, but not much. How's it going, Cersei? How are you doing today? Hello, hello. We did not get raided. 
Surprise, surprise. So we are we're in building mode. So we're currently doing some resource scavenging. We're gonna go pick up our thralls that we've finished up, and then we're gonna go and head right back over to get more building done. It's time for some building. Captain's log and hydrate. You got it. Give me a quick moment here. Let me get out of this uh, little spider den with all of our coal. Once we get back to picking up our thralls, we can do a quick little captain's log. Calm down, you guys. I have no desire to fight you. I've got better things to do. Back off. Whoop. Don't you do it. Spinning around. Can't keep up. Oh. over here. No. But we can jump over to this side and grab the coal from over here. Contrary to your hours, you do work uh, and 4 a.m. comes early, so again, welcome back and have a good night. <laughs> Alright, sleep well. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Katie. I appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow when we're playing a little more Conan Exiles. We'll be playing more tomorrow. <laughs> playing more this tomorrow. Is uh, I don't think I'm going to get to the point where we'll be fighting tier... Uh, 10 purges by the end of the day today. So we will be continuing on our journey. Uh, but you're playing StarCraft 2. Oh, it's such a good game. I played a lot of that back in the day when it first came out. You're trying to replay all those StarCraft 2 campaigns before uh, AP releases an update for it? AP? I don't know that. Uh, I don't know what that acronym is standing in for. Oh, don't you do it, spider. Do it. Did I have a water skin? Did I keep my water skin? Do I just not have one? Oh my goodness. This dingus over here keeps leaving his water skin behind. I gotta stop doing that. Let me get some water real quick. Oh, you got me. The super cripples. Let's get down to the water. Archipelago, which has a randomizer for StarCraft 2 and Star... Oh, and Stardew Valley, and 53 other games? Does it just add archipelagos to games? Is that is that just, like, what it does? That's actually... That's that's a pretty... That's a pretty cool guy. Whoever's in charge of doing that mod for all of those games, that's pretty sick. Kind of? Huh. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, you know what? We need to get some farms going so we can get some berries going. That'd be good. There's like 10 developers. Okay, so it's like a um, just a mashup of... Uh... Wait. What? Did I just... Does the water actually come up here and that's how I was able to drink? I don't know how I was able to drink that water. I just suddenly wasn't thirsty anymore. I picked some berries and I absorbed... Like a like a necromancer absorbing life, I absorbed the moisture out of those berries. I don't know how it worked, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go check out this, uh... I almost never check this encampment. Let's check this encampment and see if there's any cannibal brutes or anyone that might be worth taking with us. There might be one or two. Who knows? Don't you do it? I too late, you did it. Congratulations. You get skinned. Alright. What we got up here? You think Stardew only has three? StarCraft 2 has eight to ten developers working on it. That's awesome. Oh. Alrighty then. What do we have over here? Who are you and what are your skills? Do you deserve life? Oh, death. We've already got a cook. We don't need this one. Man, we don't need a tier one fighter. A tier one sorcerer would just put something on the bench, so I'm actually not opposed to that. Then an archer, too. What we got? Garbage. Aw, oh, this archer's crippling us. Another archer. Oh, 
There's another sorcerer coming at us. Who's he? Tier one medicine man? Oh, didn't take him out. Who are you? Tier two archer? Screw him. Uh, let's see. That's the cook. Who are you? No, not you. You. You're a carpenter one. Okay, that's fine. And medicine man two, I think we might take. Oh, that cripple is really, really messing with me here. Oh, I whiffed the carpenter. It's okay, we'll take out the archer. We'll take out the archer. Okay. Just need to clear out everyone else. Oh my goodness, another archer. Sit. These are all going to be low tier archers. They're not worth our time. Low tier fighter too. That medicine man is consistent. Where's that other archer? How many archers are in this encampment? Where are you? <laughs> you just crumbled underneath us. Holy. No chance. All right. Just a medicine man left? Perfect. Mission accomplished. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, come here! <laughs> oh my goodness! All these guys just instantly folded on us. Wow. Actually, yeah, I can take all that. We can go and deconstruct some of the stuff into potentially useful stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. He's doing okay. Don't worry about him. He's gonna be. He's gonna be all right. Uh, you posted information about the archipelago into the Discord a couple days ago. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, you see nobody read it as usual? Well... Maybe. I don't know. We don't have the most active readers. Mostly the meme chat that gets all the attention. Alright, let's see. Is there any other boxes? Well, that's the regular sorcerer. Punk. Ooh, flavored gruel? Nice. Take the scroll. Man, these sorcerer skulls... I, I, don't, I don't know why they didn't make it where you could go ahead and grind up sorcerer skulls. You should be allowed to grind up sorcerer skulls for bone meal at the very least. At the very least, there's a use for them. There's, like, no use for these skulls. You do nothing with them. Hey, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Ooh. I'll have to taxidermy hyena. Well, some of these taxidermy critters might be useful. Use them for maybe the... Or the bar. Maybe the tavern. We're going to have to go and figure out that immortal rock first. But once we get that immortal rock out of the way, we can start figuring out what to do. Yeah, we can get this medicine, man. Not super useful. We already have three of the four... Sorcerer spell pages that we need, so he's not really gonna give us much. But you know, we can have him on on the bench. So Sra, when you're playing StarCraft II, uh, which is your preferred race? The Terran, the, uh, the Zealots, or, or not the Zealots, the Protoss, or the Zerg? Which is which one do you prefer playing the most? I remember playing ranked play. It just started. We're gonna need to get some. We need to get some seeds. Do I have any seeds on me? Some fiber. Some seeds. Wow, it's like no. I have you burn the fiber to make some. It's not too good. I don't really want to leave coal here. I want to keep the coal with us. We have like zero wood. Grab some more. You generally prefer to play the Zerg mostly, the Terran least, but that has more to do with the level design and the flow than anything else. Oh, okay, so it's, it's more to do with the actual levels as opposed to, like, the campaign levels, as opposed to how the races play. I gotcha. 
That was a. I played Protoss and Terran mostly uh, when I was playing ranked. I never got that good though. My macro was great. My micro was garbage. <laughs> really, like poor, poor micro. My macro was great though. I would just churn out just hordes of enemies and be like, ah, good enough, right? We need to actually pick up fiber. It's like it's supposed to come down here to get. Instantly forgot. Uh, you don't do ranked. Uh, tried that back in StarCraft one days. It's too much stress. It is very stressful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why I don't play it anymore. It's not my cup of tea anymore. I mean, granted, I still like stressful games, but I like games where like you can claw yourself back. You know, and StarCraft. StarCraft is one of those games where. You know, a, a small mistake. It, it, StarCraft at the high level gameplay is strategy, yes. But also, equally as important, just not messing up. Just not messing up. Because you get to a certain point which people are so good that if it just is whoever makes the, the first mistake is the one who's likely to lose. It's It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Wait, is it literally one seed? Her? Crazy. I honestly thought it was more than that. One medicine man. Alright, so we've got Anna the Reaver, we've got our blacksmith, smelters, and the carpenter. So we're, we've got a good a good haul today. We'll have to come back later. I definitely want us to come over here with a transitory stone so we can actually get here quickly. In the future. Right, that'll be enough to roll. Two hours and change. Just plenty. We'll let the rest just be made. Use it when we get here. Alright, let's head back on home. Head back home. We'll get our thralls working. We'll get the material we picked up in the stations. And then we can go ahead and crack open our stash. Go from there. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Jump up and over. You basically only do PvE now, and there's a lot of custom campaigns that came out in the last couple of years for StarCraft 2. Really? That's cool. I was unaware that there's... Uh, I'm assuming it's all player-made campaigns, right? pick up berries on our way. No reason not to. We need the fiber. We need to get oil going. We can just use seeds. We got a bunch of seeds. Mostly mods put over the base campaign. Nice. Well, as we know, players know what kind of campaigns they want to play. So modders tend to make really, really compelling campaigns. All right, so let's see here. So we've got the material that we need. We're going to get the two smelters going, so our big furnaces are going to absolutely start cranking out material. So I think it really is... We're going to crack open our, our stash. And let's just get building going. We'll get a bunch of building going. Then we'll need to go... Oh, Toxic is on. <laughs> Someone was talking about Toxic yesterday. I remember who it was. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get building going, and then we'll do a tier one purge attempt. Make sure that we don't have any issues. Pour myself some more tea while we're swimming. Just want to make sure that they're actually able to pad to us. They were able to before we went and where we're now building the castle stuff. We had that first attempt, or our first little uh, tester space. And it worked fine then. So I'm hopeful that it'll still be able to pack there, no problem. Especially now that we've removed the our, our old factory, and we now moved it further to the side. I'm hoping that means the purge can actually spawn a little closer. So it'll be able to path back there more easily. That's the hope. We'll see if that's actually what happens. Oh, 
stop it. Oh, crocodile. Get yeah, the nostalgia for the levels because Blizzard does slash did make pretty good levels. They did, yeah. But the thing is, you know, it, they have to move on to the next game, so. Unlike a lot of games out there, they don't they don't release new content, they just keep patching it for competitive play. Um it would be nice if they actually were able to continue to put out content for it, like a lot of these games these days. A lot of games doing that. Again, one of the big games that I keep thinking about, well, big, one, one of the uh, one of the games I keep thinking about that I really, really enjoyed was Green Hell. I want to go back and play the survival mode of that again, because the story's not any different. They're just only patching in updates and... Um, new content for the survival mode. And I would really like to go ahead and give that another try again. Because I still remember when we were playing that game and we were building our big old base to defend against the raids and the like that were coming at us from the natives. Uh, this was... We, we had to like go further and further and further to get trees because we were absolutely deforesting the Amazon to go and build our base. And then I think it was like a week, maybe 10 days... After we finished our playthrough, they released the update where trees would actually regrow and respawn in survival mode. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You have any idea how much time I spent trying to track down and grab trees? Because you can only carry like two logs at a time. So it took a long time for us to carry trees back and forth. But yeah, so that's going. There's now like husbandry in that game too. There's like more raid defense stuff that they just added. So I'm interested in playing that again. Gonna have to find some time in the raid, uh, in the raid schedule, in the stream schedule, to uh, revisit some old games that have gotten new content. I'm thinking once we, once we're done with our goals for Conan, and we go back to the normal stream schedule, we'll have uh, Sid Meier's Pirates Monday, Tuesday, because that won the vote. Uh, so we'll be doing that, and then Wednesday, Thursday, we'll go back to doing State of Decay, and then I think on weekends, what we'll probably try and do is, I'll try and get some more weekend streams in. I think is going to be the goal. And we'll try and revisit some old games on those weekend days, I think. The joke is there's one intern responsible for all StarCraft II balance. Yeah, that feels about right. What are you doing here? You haven't spawned down here in a while. What? There hasn't been a panther spawn down here in a bit. I'm Not since those guys moved in. Or that guy moved in. There were many people in that clan. Hmm. Oh, did it, uh... Was it just, like, a phasing issue? Ah, okay, it was a graphical issue. Alright, cool. Those, those indestructible things are gone. It's all gone now. So we just had to... It, it had to rezone. We just had to have this whole place get rezoned. It's fine. Or, uh, re-rendered. Or whatever it is you want to call it. Interesting that that happened, though. It's... Depending on how that worked, if we can figure that out, we might be able to use that to climb over people's anticline. They have, like, big old structures stuck in there. All right, let's get to work. You still cooking? Yeah, you're still cooking. Oh, you're done, though. Yeah. Get some, get some brick over to you, stat. Since you are the limiting factor for us to get things done. We'll have to go do a stone run. Next that brick. Get that brick rolling. 150 before we run out of the stone consolidate. That's fine. We'll get that sorted in a minute. That's good. We gotta go make some food. You'll be lurking. Alright. Thank you so much, Straw. I appreciate the raid and appreciate you hanging out. Uh, oh, uh, real quick, Straw, if you haven't left yet, what are you doing for food? What is what's what is the snack of choice today? Or is it dinner? It's after a stream, so usually it's just a snack. What's the snack of choice? Off and just reset the stacks of coal here. Re stack and re stack. Oh, re stack. Yes. Need to figure that out? <laughs> Alright. Well, good luck. We'll see you around. Take care. It's a mystery to everyone, including you. So we've got plenty of reinforcements churning out now. 
We got over 2,000 reinforcements, so we're holding on strong here. All right. How's it going, Stormy Snow? How are you doing today? So you're trying to accelerate global warming to come next to Yeah, it's a, it's a little cold in the north, and I'm not a huge fan of it, so we're going to try and get that sorted. <laughs> what Toxic's talking about. Go ahead and dump all that in there. We're going to need another one for storage. Storage purposes. Running out of places to dump all of our old meats that we just don't care about. I really only squish so much more human flesh. Uh, what are you running out of? Bone meal. Bone meal's the issue. <laughs> Let's get some more of these compost spheres going. So we can just try and get through all this food. I have so much. Uh, let's pick up some shaped wood. That's all we need. There we go. Grab our hammer. Wait, where'd we get to... We must have picked it off of a, a guy that we killed. Some of the NPCs. Another one on here. Oh. Four. Nice. Alright, we'll get that sword in a minute here. Oh my goodness, look how fast this is. Once I get the smelters in here, it's amazing. Alright, get the smelters to work. Uh, we'll leave this blacksmith just here for whenever we build stuff. Blacksmith doesn't speed up the process of doing things. Uh, same with the carpenter. I don't believe the carpenter speeds up stuff. Do the carpenter here for when it's time. And we have Anna the Reaver. There she is. We go and try and level her up a little bit. This at the very least give her some gear. We picked up on our travels. We don't have any chess pieces though. Oh yeah, we do. There we go. Some good old hodgepodge gear. It's looking good. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's a little better than what she was wearing before. It's fine. Let's change on over to the dismantler. Where's the dismantler again? Dismantler. Oh look! Human flesh and a fluid press. I can do that. Done. Put coal in a human in a fluid press. Really? Or we do that. I'm not gonna let you do it though. I don't need the car. Dismantle an item. Can do. Bam. Done. We'll hold on to this bow, honestly. I oh, already have one. Do. Alright, so dismantler's done. Same dismantler. Pick up the dismantling bench. Let's build the improved dismantling bench. Which is in smithing? No, general. More brick. Ooh, more insulated wood, which is in our stash. Okay, we'll have to do that in a minute. I'll have to do it in a minute. It's in our stash. I stashed our insulated wood. I don't know how much we have. We can actually make some more real quick. Pull out some resin and uh, pull up this dried wood. Might as well make some. How's it going, Fuzzy Wuzzy? How you doing today? Good to see ya. Might as well make some insulated wood. We're gonna need it for the beekeeper and for maybe something else. I don't know. We'll need it for something. Okay, so we're not making stone right now because we're out of stone. I say okay. Here's a smidgen of stone. It's not enough to actually do anything. But we have some silver and gold stone. We can go ahead and have you smelt in the meantime, yeah? There's brimstone in here. Brimstone in here. 
I don't want more than one stack or one row. We'll leave the rest in here. Just in case we get raided. It's safe. This brick. I need it to make that. Dismantling bench. Drop off some steel, drop off some iron. Should just have some lying around anyway. Looks like you're going to be making some top robin, covering it in cheese, and adding some olive oil. Nice. Making it a little fancier. I like it. Alright, let's go ahead and get these bad boys running. Two, two. You're still going. Let's put some... Yeah, it's fine. We'll just put the elephant on here. Just get all the, all the thick stuff gets worked on that one. You running. You running. Well, let's stack on an extra one. And which one had the... There you go. Perfect. Slowly getting there. Okay, so we've burned through all of that. So we need to get more wood. Wood's the big thing right now. Alright, so real quick, just to prove a concept. The carpenter doesn't speed this up, right? No, it doesn't. That's what I thought. Nope. No change. The carpenter here. We'll take all of the shaped wood out of these. Sit here. Easily accessible for anyone who decides to raid us to grab it. Take all that. Dump it in the box for now, just where it's safer. Not perfectly safe, but it's safer. Okay. You're burnable. You know what we need? we have enough star metal? I think we need to make more star metal, don't we? Yeah, like we do. I need to go grab stuff out of the stash. We need to do a stash run. Seeds. The seeds we'll care about. Here the aloe. Alright, let me go let me go grab our stash real quick. Let me go grab our stash real quick. Let me go ahead and mute the game. And swap over to the screen here. Let me go grab our stash super quick. Go nab that. Because we're just, we've got too much stuff that we need that we just don't have on hand right now. It'll speed us up. And we could wait and produce it all, but it's already produced, so there's no no reason for us not to just take it and use it, yeah? That would be crazy not to. Go nab this real quick. Oh my goodness. The things I do to make sure we don't lose our stuff, put it way too far away. <laughs> Run really far, hold on. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Now nah, we're good. Well, got an angry rhino trying to get into the uh, into the base. All right, stash acquired. We have our stuff. Yeah, we got plenty now. All right, what do we need? Bricks. Yeah, because I put them all away. I guess we didn't stash any basic little bricks, huh? This doesn't really fit anywhere, does it? <laughs> Nope. That's okay. We can put it here. I should technically be walking on top of the on this side here, because then I can I can literally just walk across them when filling them and emptying them. Or I should be doing it. We can put this here. Alright. Uh what do we want to break down? Break down the bow. Break down those. Nothing else to break down. Get the taxidermy stuff. Oh, we have plenty of star metal. For some reason, I thought we had significantly less. Drop that off. We need a sickle. Star metal sickle. Go ahead and make me one. 
Let's put a hundred in here. Use later. Uh, which means we can go ahead and get rid of that iron sickle I made off stream. I was using to get more stone consolidate produced. Or blacksmith in there. It'll increase its durability by a smidgen. There we go. Which is not needed. But now we can go ahead and get a bunch. Uh, the other thing is, do we have hardened steel on us? We do. Get another tool upgrade. That bad boy rolling. Alright, let's go ahead and unload our building materials. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's it's still brick. We we need so much more brick. Brick is a limited factor right now. So we need to go do a stone run urgently. Uh, actually, we need stone consolidated. Is that what we're out of? Well, it's a good thing we went and made that sickle. We'll stop making steel in the other ones. If that's the case. Get you started. I'll take half of this to the other guy, so at least they can keep on churning. Good, but uh, we are getting low on it, huh? Well, maybe not. We're catching up. We can. We're definitely on building duty in a moment here. You should just get ground up. We don't use fangs for anything. Horns. We got bone meal in here. Give me that. Give me this. Give me that. Give me this. I'll take the meat too, because this stuff's kind of going. So it's a done. Let's get the composters online. We'll just uh, squish these seeds. Bugs. Let's see. Bugs are fine for now. Take seeds. Not meat. Good enough for the moment. We take everything out of here. All right, so compost, grubs, bone meal, fiber, and then the rest is all going to be putrid meat. And the next one, bone meal, grubs, putrid meat, and we're going to need fiber. Uh, actually, down here we can go ahead and we can put the dung as well. Let's go ahead and compress all these seeds into oil. Only 24 oil. It's not a lot of oil, but we'll take it. We can actually take all of this flesh back. We've got plenty of blood. We do not need this much blood. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. All right. this off. Off a bunch of this flesh. Let's start rotting out, and then we get the top one. And this will go ahead and clean out our inventory, because we're just getting absolutely inundated with it. We've got way too much of this stuff. Okay. So, a quick fiber run here. To get us up and running. It's everything we need. Almost a thousand already. Realistically, we're looking at just like one stack per to start with. We can go add more later. We'll also get some of the farming stuff online too. So we can get some berries so we can make some booze. Because we're going to need to be able to make booze for the tavern. Like, we, we can't have a tavern and have no alcohol. That's crazy. So oh, we're gonna need to go and get berries cooking because we actually don't have berries that grow around here. Island berries and desert berries don't grow in this region. I'm sure we could pick them up as we go, but I don't want to have to try and remember every single time we go out to do that. Also, we need this fiber so we can make more stone consolidate as well. So set two. Okay. 
Also, all the seeds that we get is also useful. Uh, let's see. Take the ash. All right, so we're going to make one of these. I kind of want it to be the bottom one, though, even though I just build that guy up. I want it to be the bottom one. Maybe we do that. Be for making the advanced version. Yeah, I kind of want this one to be the important one. We'll have compost. We'll have fiber. Up there. Uh, where's the ash? Ash, and then blood. We'll make our potent compost on the bottom. Then we can use these guys for the rest. What's your limited factor? The current amount of meat, but more meat's going to be decaying, so you're fine there. Don't worry about it. You'll get plenty soon. Same with you. Then you as well. Already done. Let's go ahead and some placeholder compost in here. So it's set. So we have a, at a quick glance, we know how much we have. We don't have to go hunting for it in here, trying to find it. And it just, you know, takes extra time. Bone meal. Last bit of compost. Where'd it go? All right. It's now organized. It's now we just, all we do is just come over here and we just dump it in. We just show up. Dump our meat in here when we have a bunch of excess meat. And it just goes in any one that has space. Doesn't matter which one, just any of them that has space. Get the extra grubs. Your full on grubs. Extra grubs. Perfect. Apparently, in the pipeline for Crusader Kings 3 is the ability to play unlanded. Oh, really? Oh, that would be awesome. I would absolutely be down to play an unlanded campaign. Crusader Kings. That'd be a blast. How's it going, Dark Souls Den? How you do today? Good to see ya. I need to do something with these insects. Got a lot of them. Get out of these insects. This. Makes more steel. Be focused on steel reinforcements. Still plenty of reinforcements being made right now. Uh, hardened steel will leave in here. Technically not a building material, but... Let's go ahead and let's get ourselves... Okay. Oh no, storage. Reservation box. We need 20. We need 2 and 4. 4... And one stack of ice. Alright, stack of ice. And go ahead and we just start putting our food stuffs in here. Start grabbing the other spare meat in the line. Get a little more organized, really. But yeah, there's all for coins. Eggs decay, berries will decay, berries is decay. We don't have a lot to store right now, but we might as well hold on to some of this stuff. Did you ever get the chest? Uh which chest? Which chest do you mean, Dark Souls Den? What are you on about? Need bones and twine for this. I don't have any bones lying around anymore. On that base? Oh no! No, we have not gotten it yet. No, no, we have not. We have 25 minutes. Moon blood, brimstone, steel fire. We could run and go do that. We're running to go do that real quick. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was this guy right here. 
We have enough. We could do it. But I'd like to go and finish building our base. I think we might do some raiding tomorrow. Bangs. I think I think we'll do it tomorrow. We got plenty. We picked up a bunch of demon blood today, so that's good. But I think I'd rather do it tomorrow. I kind of want to focus on us getting our base done and start doing some purge stuff. We can raid another day. Okay, so let's just dump some stuff in here that's just misc. Dump off some misc items in here. Wine. All right, let's just try and get our inventory completely cleared up here. More bugs. Actually, seeds. The seeds. Give me that meat. Meat and meat. Seeds for pressing. Meat for composting. Um, and then we'll just have stacks of spare bone meal, which is unnecessary for this, leave it in here. Missing ash. Ash is what we need. It's the last piece. Keeps this blood for... Three specs. And let's get to work on consolidating. Right, stone, stone, it's all it. All right, so we got to do a big old stone run. Okay. Midnight stack acquired. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. Got yourself a quesadilla. Very nice. So yeah, if we can get some twine and some bones, it can make some burlap pouches. What is this? This takes uh, old dust and demon blood. Speaking of which... We've now got some gold and silver bars. Useful. Up off the gold and the silver for now. Use that later. Work on some of these. Some of those. All right. Go hit up some, hit up some uh, rocks. There's still some brick rolling. So we'll do a brick run. We'll do a stone run for bricks. Then we can do an iron run. And then after that, I think they were just on building. Maybe we do a wood run too. And if anything attacks us, we'll go ahead and skin it. We can keep our tar going. It's like, I hear you. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I, I want to try and get at least the outline of the castle. Uh, like the base floor of the castle. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do a tier 1 purge attempt. Uh, what we'll do is we'll gonna have to try and grind up uh, Anna's level a little. Ow! We're gonna have to try and level up Anna as smidgen. The problem is I don't even think that if we even get her to level five, she's gonna be able to withstand on her own during a purge. They just the, the purge just all it takes is one like the moment that your thralls are outnumbered. Usually it you just can't withstand it. Just too much for them. Alright, bricks. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to get the purge to work the way that it had before. We'll see if it'll be able to path. I'm gonna figure out the pathing. I'm assuming it will, because again, it's gonna be closer. Alright, because it spawned where we're standing right now, is where it spawned last time. And it managed to figure it out. But now that we don't have our 
factory in the way. It should be closer. It should be easier. Should, should, should. So we got 10k. It's good enough for a start. If can get to 12k, then it'd be 4k per 400 brick each. Get this cooking. Actually, what we might do is we might just do 1k per and then just jam the rest in the big furnaces. Like 3k in each of the big furnaces here. Just to try and catch up on brick production. Because they are so far behind. Three and you. Three and you. Iron. Put some branches. Resin. More meat to throw away. Just have so much meat. <laughs> we already have way too much meat. It's fine. Some thick leather to keep on cooking on. Some normal leather as well. That rolling. Nice. And some fangs. Round them up. Perfect. Okay. We cleared on that, so now we just need to do an iron run. Are we actually out of iron? Holy, we actually went through it all. All of us been turned into steel. Goodness. Right, get back on that. Uh, we'll keep the spare iron for just production needs. For building items. I'm gonna do a wood run first. Do a wood run first. So just kind of hanging around base since we've got 17 minutes until raid window ends, and then no one can break into our extremely flimsy base. We're kind of hovering around it. All right, you two, come here. Ah! Help! Come here. Ah! What I need to do is I need to bring Anna with us when we're clearing these guys out. So we need to look at what we want to level her up with, uh, armor-wise. Um. Well, we were playing with the Hyperborean Slaver armor before, is that right? We were looking at. Let's go ahead and grab some leather. Big stack of leather. I'm going to go heavies. Wearing slaver armor is just fur. Do we have enough? Yeah, we got enough fur. Yeah, let's get her in some Hyperborean slaver armor, right? Is that what she means? What, what's her skills? Vitality? Yeah, vitality. High grit. Wow, she's actually got a really good growth scaling. That's quite nice. Actually, pretty good. Let's go ahead and clear out all this garbage in here. Got pretty good vitality. Do we care more about vitality growth on her, or do we care more about strength growth on her? Hmm. Sure. Stack that in there. And the rest just go ahead and sit back in here. Okay, not bad. Not bad, we're getting there. Drop you off. I need more fiber. Come on, there we go. Get that fiber. Oh, 
drop off and we have some pelts. Jeez. All right, these guys are churning at full speed now. That's good. Keeping them busy. We'll need to upgrade them to tier two tanners at some point now that we're able to pick up so much hide just so quickly. We're going to need to go ahead and upgrade them soon. Making you. Again, we'll switch this over to being all three of them working on it soon once we get the fiber sorted. Yeah. One more being able to be made. Hmm. We didn't pick up an armor, did we? No. Okay. Well, we got those five pieces. Warrior slaver armor. Let's go ahead and get a full set. Oh, I need iron. Well, what do you know? Eh, let's just put the whole thing. It's fine. Got a lot of fangs, too. You're pulling in a lot of material. Wearing slaver armor. Here we go. There we go. On the chest, pants, shoes. All right, perfect. We'll get her in a full set. So this will get her from light armor to heavy armor. Give her strength bonus on damage output. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll make her some gruel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll need the good gruel. We could just go steaks, though. For some vitality growth. Set. You're thinking steaks? Give her better food? And Gruel gives her more strength uh, as she fights, and steaks gives her more health as she fights. It really depends on what we want to level her up with. She's already got good vitality starting at 15, so I'm thinking we give her strength instead. Right now she's got plus 14 damage. Your thralls like to die, though? That is a very valid point. Yeah, okay, we can give her some steaks then. Now she's eating those. She gets that plus 14%. Puts her at 86% chance of getting vitality per level. It's a good point. I, I, my thralls do have uh, an obnoxious habit of dying on me. Entirely not my fault. They just, uh, you know, they just keel over randomly. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can actually grab these dudes for now. Store them in the cold box. We can decide to hold on to them or get rid of them later if we want. We need some savory flesh. Where can we get savory flesh around here? Uh, just you know, take out some deer. Hunt some deer. There's plenty around here. We got antelope and we got deer. Not using a butcher knife. We don't actually need to. We get plenty off the skinning knife. We already got 32. And the hides are technically still more important. Where are you? Oh, with it. Come on. Silly deer. Oh, it's out of stamina. Amazing. The timing. Oh, the antelope. Then on back. Good enough. We could use a butcher knife. Technically better. But we need the hides more. Gotta do that iron run. Ten minutes until the raid window's over. It's not really much need for us to babysit at this point. It's kind of too late in the raid window to raid us now. Get some high quality steaks. Voice cuts of meat. Go 
those uh get those a cooking. Take out the savory steaks. Take them out of the compost pile. Cook these up too. Cook her a whole bunch. Her choice of what she wants to eat, yeah? So much meat just jammed in here, and we st still don't have enough inventory space. Golly. Yeah, luckily, the human flesh we can stack up. There we go. Dump all that out. Leave the rest in here. Yeah, <laughs> we still can't compost fast enough. Golly. Jeez. I just do not like how much this fills up our inventory of uh, recipes. It's obnoxious. Okay. Drop off these hides. Get them cooking. These. The tar out of all this. Get you guys back to work because you've stopped. And you shouldn't be stopping. You can make him. No, oh, you're still going. Still cooking with fire. Cooking with gas. Well, I guess cooking with brimstone. There we go. So just leave the spare steel fire in here for now. Okay, perfect. We are rolling. So we'll have plenty of food for her and me. I'll be eating those steaks too. Good old trash can steaks. Make sure she's got one full stack. Oh. And perfect. Right. Follow me. Uh, behavior. Tactics. Prioritize melee. Behavior. Engagement. Guard me. Uh, follow distance. Let's keep you at medium range. Just to hopefully avoid us accidentally hitting her with our axe, yeah? That's the goal. Now we can have her following us around. So, hopefully, we can start leveling her up a bit. Go ahead and kill that thing. You got this. Nice done. Ah! Alright. Let's go head out and scrap some iron. We'll have her murder stuff along the way. Or I'll take this one. All over level. Alright. Follow me by teleporting, please. Don't don't just fall to your death. That'd be really bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Already gained some vitality. You can see your health's gone up. Four le Wow! <laughs> she got four levels in strength already. Whoa! All right, she got four levels in strength and four levels of vitality. Nice. That was a big. That was a big jump with those two levels. All right, crocodile, come here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves a bunch of iron. Where'd she go? There she is. Uh, I don't know where she's going. Hopefully she's teleporting to us. <laughs> no? 
There she is. So far behind. <gasps> They're dead. There's a player here. There's a player somewhere around here. Your eyes and ears open, everyone. There's a player afoot. There are a lot of people online, actually. These guys that raided us. These guys that scavenged off of our stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Gonna go the look like a noob route? Not intentionally, but uh, if we do, we do, I guess. I wonder who was murdering crocodiles, because there's just two dead crocodiles and no other creatures nearby. It means a player did it. Crocodile's alive. Alright. Slowly leveling. Once she's properly leveled, we can go ahead and do a purge tier 1 attempt. I'd like her to give us backup uh, inside the gates, just in case they decide to phase through the gates again, like they did last time we did one. You just phase through the gate. So if she can defend the inside where there shouldn't be like a massive hordes of them, while we defend the outside where there will be massive hordes of them, it should work okay. At least that's the plan. That's the plan for our, our beginning tier purge attempts. We're not gonna run across Snake Island because I don't need her fighting a snake and dying. Not yet, she's still too low level. And besides, we got this little bridge here. Let's see. So, three lessons. This hasn't been reset in a while. And then those guys haven't been reset in a while. It's still that's one extra day after the apparent massive raiding of bases by the cheaters. Alright, let's head back. Got all of our iron. Get out of here. What level are you right now? Okay, so Vitality is doing pretty well. Uh, you're not currently eating. Please eat. Doesn't do it? Okay. Nah, it doesn't. Okay. If we must. Alright, she's only level 3. I'd like her ideally to be like level 5, at least. Level 10 would be perfect, though. Go ahead and kill off the croc and those uh, two NPCs over there. Always use more hides. Alright, raid windows closed. No one can blow up our base anymore. I didn't hear explosions while we were out and about, so I'm assuming we're okay. A smelter 2 and an exile. We're okay. Goodness. Get him! Take him! Nice. Alright, so she does a good chunk of damage. She does one shot these guys. We like seeing that. Take the hides. There's no chest or anything over here. 
Okay, send them back. The hard part is that if she just gets staggered into oblivion, she's not going to kill anything. Her throat's dry already. Gracious. I definitely need to go and make a shrine to Mitra. Get it to tier 2 so we can go and get some fountains online. Once we get our castle set up, we can go ahead and get those going. Oh. Okay. Now let's go take out this monstrosity vault here. It's a good chunk of XP. I don't want to just fight everything. We need the hides regardless, and we need her to level. Ow. Wow, she hits hard. Did some good damage. 18% increased damage from her weapon. That's pretty good. Doing about like six extra damage. Not quite 50, but darn close. It's not enough to go and one shot the exiles that will be hitting us from the purge. I need to level her up a little more. Right, we can go ahead and actually reach it 10. We can bring you a little closer. You don't have to be quite that far away. It's a little far away. Yeah, let's get back into building. Also, has this... Okay, so this has been reset. It was like two days ago. Like 30 hours ago, at least. Alright, and you go. She's almost level 5. We go take out like a couple more rhinos, she'll be level 5. Where are we in combat? Ah. Monstrosity. Take him. What would you do for damage here? You picked the wrong fight. About 30 damage per swing. Yeah, she actually could one-on-one -on -one these guys. Maybe she needs to heal after, but she could one-on-one. -on -one. They give a lot of experience. Level 5. Perfect. It's just only vitality on that one. Well, some agility, too, looks like. Which agility, you know, not that helpful, but vitality is great. She's still under 1,000 health, though, so fighting a player, she's not going to do much. But that's not her job. Her job's not supposed, not supposed to be fighting players. Her job's supposed to be fighting the purge, at least low-tier ones. Nicely done. Does about a third of the damage we do. And next. Curse you. Come on, you got him. Get him, he's got 11 health. Hey, okay, here we go. It's done. Head back in, let's get this iron rolling, and then we'll start taking a look at what we can start building. We should have plenty of materials now between pulling stuff out of our stash and getting things rolling. Uh, we do need to do... Well, we can just pull the stone out. We do need to work on the hardened, or the hardened brick more. Because these furnaces are empty now. Okay. Put you on guard here for now. How are we doing? They're gonna need to go grab more brick or stone for sure. So I'm gonna take this. I should get one and a half. Change. One and a half. One and a half. Do the steel guy for all that. Keep you rolling. 
another half, and we'll give you that. Okay. Another chunk of stone. A chunk of stone. A chunk of stone. Perfect. My goodness, look at how much just meat we have on us. Ugh. So much meat. You could never really get into this game. Um, and it's definitely a game that uh, is more fun with friends, I imagine, for most people. I agree with Fuzzy Wuzzy on that one. But I really enjoy playing this solo. I have a lot of fun with it. But it also depends on what kind of things you're interested in when playing games, right? Just a meathead? Just, you like, like uh, hitting things hard and seeing big numbers? Bricks. Oh, you actually ran out of coal. Wild, all right. Didn't see that coming. What we will want to do is turn one of these into just making bricks and the other one into making the hardened brick. Let's do a restock on fuel then. It's only two hours, it does burn, it just burns through it so fast. Got a stack there. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop off eggs. A little stack of that. Don't have anything else? A shredded meats. Oh my gracious! Three hundred and seventy-two fangs. Golly, that's a lot. Yeah. I still think it's going to be bricks going to be our main limiting factor. But we'll still have to focus on that. It's not too bad. Alright, we're going to have to go and start decaying stuff in here too and just using this for basic um, composting as well. We don't have the space. Our other ones are all full. We don't have ash. So we can't exactly use this one anyway right now. No. Uh, as soon as any of this decays, it'll start getting converted. We can move it to others as these empty out. As these as these start to empty out, we'll go ahead and move them over. But for now, that's it. If you can add anything to any game that was then put into every game going forward, what would you add? Oh my goodness, that's a tough one, because there's some things some games don't need added, like, at all. Um, that, that's a tough one. I'm not too sure. Something that should be added to every single game ever, or every single new game that comes out. That's a tough one. Hmm. Want me to clear up some? Uh, sure. Auto sort? Oh! Yeah, fuzzy wuzzy. Not just auto sort. Not just auto sort. Auto sort into nearby storage chests. Or like, you know, you just go here, you press a button, and it goes into everything within a range. Yeah. Now that would be huge. Auto sort, yes. But even more so than auto sort, sorting into every, like, uh, putting resources in nearby chests of like types of resources. Yeah, that's, yeah, that should be in every single game that has an inventory and storage. Anything that's got storage mechanics needs that. That is, yeah, huge. Can't believe I didn't even think of it. But yeah, I've complained about that before. That that should be in games. You're absolutely right. Oh, what are you thinking, Dark? What, what, what was your thought? What were you thinking of uh, should be added? All the games. Go ahead and squish out this thing. I don't need this. Squish. Okay. Done and done. Drop that off in here. Maybe that's me in here. There we go. Compost has begun. And it'll just back up the compost here that will go into potent, so that's fine. Actually, just took that out. We um we can do a sickle run. A sickle and stone run. You'd add the ability to name storages. Hmm. 
Like, let's say you want to have auto sort. It won't go into like Pokemon, but doesn't need it. No, no, no. I think I think auto sorting in Pokemon would make a lot of sense. Think about it. When you've got to, when you have your PC, right, where you uh, store all of your Pokemon, you've got like what 12, 15 boxes. Each box should be off of a specific either type or level, right, or egg group, right. You should be able to to determine what each box carries. That'd be cool. Gosh, darn it. Should have brought the uh, Anna with us. Didn't realize we we're gonna be doing some combat out here. I'm gonna get to level her up. Uh, naming inventory would be good too, but being able to sort, I think, is like huge. Yeah. For sure, there's the ability to mod that uh, to add to Conan, where it auto sorts uh, the stack and allows you to rename stuff. Well, I mean, it kind of sort of, kind of does. This game kind of has something like that. Here, I'll show you an example. You, uh, you can, you can kind of do that. Not the style of auto sorting that I was talking about, where like you just walk into a room, press a button, and it uh, discards it into nearby chests. But what you can do is you can do custom, right? <clears throat> Fill out all of the uh, spots that you want to of a certain thing, and then you can just hit give all. So if you fill out every single spot with whatever you want in these spots, right? This is only going to be for insects. And you fill up every single space that it has, like so. And then if I hit give all, boom, only insects are gone, right? Easy. Oh my goodness. My voice. Some tea. So it kind of works. Not really. Kind of. I just do heavy first because it makes it easier to sort. But you can see you can, you can do that. It's time consuming though. Only for the first time you do it. On a PvP server, yeah, because, you know, your chests will probably get blown up over time. So it's not really worth putting in that level of effort. But on PvE, yeah, yeah I can see doing it in PvE. Or solo. I can see doing that. I can get an extra helping of a uh, fiber in here. Stack up these meats as much as we can. Some more inventory space. And then drop these meats back in. Take some of these stringy meats out. Barrel flesh goes back. Is it full? Ah, it generated more while I was looking at it. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and grab this meat. And we'll go ahead and dump the rest of this in here for now. to continue to get worked on. Oh my goodness, the amount of oil we're getting out of this is crazy. Plenty. Our horn. Uh, more fangs. And a whole host of consolidate. Bam, there we go. Hey, Manager Man, how you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream? How'd it go? Hopefully it went well. Drop that in here. And we're just gonna dump a whole bunch of meat. There you go. Hold up. She's gonna hold an entire barbecue. That's what she's gonna hold on to. Okay. So this guy's gonna be just making brick going forward. This guy can keep making the hardened version. We'll need to go do a stone run. We'll do a proper stone run next, and then we'll start building. Yeah? 
bring Anna with us. Good times, good, good. Baldur Gate's too much fun for you. Oh yeah, no, I can't. I can't watch your content of uh, Baldur's Gate. I don't want any spoilers. I will eventually play it, eventually, in in due time. And I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, just don't grab your meat, and then post to pick on Twitter and the internet. You lose your minds. I've this the problem is our chests are just so full of meat. Can't get through it fast enough. People we'll lose their minds. I mean, we can go make some big barbecues. I mean, she's, again, she's essentially just holding an entire, you know, like, after-party worth of barbecue. We've got to get over, uh, get over the hangovers. It's massive amounts of grilled steak. There's no seasoning on the grilled steak, though. I don't know how good it would be. But it is steak. All right, you're going to bed? All right, sleep well, man. Sleep well. Oh, yeah, it's late over there. It's a good sleep, man. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a steak delivery rep. That's exactly right. Sir, did you order the 53 pounds of steak? Why, yes, I did. Put it over there in the corner. We've got a large... We've got a large party coming in later today. Get her a meat dress? Oh my good gracious. I don't think we could do that just because I'm worried about all the animals just nibbling her to death. Eat? Actually, you know what? It might be good defense against all the cannibals. The Defari, they eat human flesh. They don't eat, like, critters. They eat humans. So maybe that would give her, like, maybe that's armor, you know? High quality meat steaks gives you defenses against cannibals. We only eat human flesh here. We're, we're repelled by that of any other critter. What? Alright, we got 13,000, which is good, which means that's uh, 1,300 brick. I just want to keep on rocking. Pick up everything we can here. Good time for you. Would enjoy the stream. Yeah, thanks for popping by. I appreciate it, Lambo. We'll see you around. All right. Get this in here, and then it's, we need to start focusing on building. So we need to focus on building, and then focus on getting a purge attempt. Here one. Purge attempt. We definitely need to level this lady up more. She's our only combat thrall. Not good. We need to we need to get that resolved. Think you're renaming your clan to Fari Cannibals? Like on other servers? I mean It's a terrifying name. It instills fear in the hearts of many. <clears throat> you know? Truly terrifying. Meat armor gives a buff called unappetizing. <laughs> While wearing this armor, cannibals get nauseated as you now uh, as you are now about as appetizing as tofu. Yes. Yeah, that feels about right. We'll get three rows on you. And then we'll slap the rest of them in here. It's an extra one on each. And we'll have all the brick production that we need to keep up. Iron. We require more iron. We're not producing enough iron. We're producing four to it's a four to five ratio when we actually it's a one to five ratio. We're doing a four to one, so we aren't keeping up with the iron production needs. That's okay. That's eh, alright. As long as I stay on top of brick production right now. You're Defari and only employ Defari workers. Ah, yes, we're workers. Mm hmm. Yes. Hi highly. Um, highly compensated interns, wink. 
You cover uh, room and room and board, food and food and board. That's that's what you cover. Healthcare? What? I don't know what you're talking about. He's level five. Good enough for now. Uh, let's go ahead and start on building. Take a stack. Take a stack. Take a stack. Time to get this building material actually being used on something instead of stockpiling it. Side effects of meat armor. You no longer have friends as you smell as bad as processing plant dumpsters on a, high, on a hot summer. Oh my goodness, yeah. You smell like a dumpster. Yeah, that feels about right. The delicious smells of meat. Okay, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll essentially have a floor here, so we can have a lower floor. Let's actually clear this out. So the question still remains, do we want a two high basement or a one high basement? I'm partial to two high, because then we can stay in third person view, and we don't have to go into first person. I'm thinking two, you thinking two? I'm thinking two. We're going to have to redesign this a little. Clear out the space. We'll have the foundation up again and get another set of stairs. Yeah, I really like the headrooms. I think it's important. So if we did that, that means we're going to have to go up one more floor here. Now, do we want to go straight up or do we want to have a little landing? I think we go straight up when we push this out one. I think we go straight up and we just push this up one. Go here. <clears throat> and we go up another one. Oh my goodness. Voice work with me, please. So if we have the house, there we go. start here. It sounds fine, yeah, but I'm getting all scratchy. It's getting hard to talk and say words. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I have to like clear my throat because I'm feeling it. <clears> throat> And I want to keep muting myself, so I don't want you guys to have to hear it whenever I clear my throat out. Don't sound like... <laughs> don't sound like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Well, that's good. That's good. But, even so... Okay, so we've got a big old pit here. So we can make this out of wall instead of out of foundation. We'll leave it as foundation for the moment. Just because it's sturdier for defense reasons. Makes it a little sturdier, so we'll still we'll still leave it as foundations for the moment, but we might swap this over to walls if we find we're st if it feels a little too claustrophobic. And we need a little more space. We can change that out. Alright, stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ah, it's even! That's no good. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So we got 16. That means this is where it is right now. So if we go one more, we can go here. Have that be center. We, oh, I can't get one more in here. Bummer. We can go one shorter or one wider. I don't want to go wider. Hmm. This game is like Fortnite? Yes, it's exactly like Fortnite. Except there's zero guns. Um, there's no... Wow, there's flying in there. Uh, there's zero guns. There's no center point you have to run to. Combat happens very rarely. And... Um, you don't really build in combat. It's 
Uh, other than, like, it, it's exactly like Fortnite in every way, except not and only in that you can build and there's melee combat with bows. But otherwise, it's exactly like or like Fortnite. I do think it's interesting whenever uh, you compare, like, it's, it's not just you, but just in general. Whenever it comes to comparing one game to another game, the hard part is it's like, like Fortnite is exactly like Minecraft. There's building and combat. You know, Ark is exactly like, uh, like Minecraft, you, you there's building in the game and resource collection, right? Like, it, it's it's tough because when it comes to defining like one game versus another game, we often don't have a good way to describe it, do we? We have to go off of like another game, but the, a lot of games aren't like similar enough to really be a clone of, you know? It is, it is an interesting thing to think about. And I know we've talked about it before, but it's kind of funny. It's so whenever there's like any game that is remotely similar to a popular game, that's what we say it's a clone of, even though it might be a clone of a less popular game out there. You know? I've never played Fortnite though. Uh, is it is it any good? Do people enjoy it, or is it just a really sweaty mess these days? Yeah, I think you're right. If we shorten this by one and we kind of have it here, we can scoot this over one. I think you're right. That might be the way the way to do this. It keeps it a little uh, raised. It's a toxic mess. Aren't mo wait? Aren't most shooter games toxic messes? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me just move this over by one. Aren't most shooter games toxic messes? Isn't that just, like, how computer games work? Isn't, isn't that just, like, isn't that what it says on the tin, right? It's, it says it on the game box. It's, like, brand new game, brand new shooter from X Studios filled with toxic nonsense, right? It, it's, 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 like, told we're all, we're all aware of it. So it's, it's at least what we all expect, right? All right, so do we want to still stick with a gate? I kind of want a gate. A gate sounds really cool. Having a big old gate. Oh, that's backwards. Having a big old gate going into our castle just feels really cool. You know? But Sergio, how are you doing today? How have you been? How's life treating you? Let me move this over one. Maybe we put it even further over to where it just comes to here. Yeah, this might be better. And we go and grab our staircase. Bam. Bam. We come down to the corner, then we have the lower floor. Make this look pretty. There we go. It mostly blends in. It's fine. Okay, so we're making a box currently. We're gonna have to adorn this in a way to make it not a huge box, or else I'm gonna go crazy. Our castle better not be a huge square. At least not on the outside. It can be on the inside, because you know, you could you can be anything you want on the inside, but on the outside, it's gotta look pretty. Required. So what we'll do is we'll have this actually be an outer walkway, and then the inner room will start here. Out the door. So we can have the inner throne room be in here, and we can have this be like a, a the a, an inner courtyard. That could be cool. Yeah, it doesn't quite match, does it? It's, it's close, but yeah, not 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 quite. No. It'd be nice if it did. All right, we need to go grab some more material. Get them building going. Yes, it's, 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 you know, if you're not, if you're not looking closely, it, it's similar, but no, no, it's not. No. Similar, but not the same. Maybe if you take your glasses off. Maybe if you squint really hard, you know? A few things of bricks like this. Picked up a bunch of material when we were clearing out the space. Let's go ahead and dump that off in here. So we can at least get this producing. 
Meantime, drop off more burnables. Drop off more resin. It's even more resin, no. <laughs> so much resin. Oh my good gracious. There you go. Grab this, grab these bricks, dump these bricks in here, make sure you're still rolling. Drop off the spare, drop off the spare, we'll refuel. Good. Inner stable, get me more fiber, because fiber's what we're low on. Not anything else. It's just a fiber. Good gracious, do we need a lot of fiber? More bugs. Got seeds. Bam. And a little bit of iron. Punk. Okay. Heading back. We don't want to take all of our building supplies with us just in case we get attacked while we're doing this. I don't expect we will. We are really far out. We're in a relatively inconvenient spot on the map. I don't expect us to get attacked from someone just roaming on by, but you never know. It could happen. Might as well get these side pieces in. Side. Go, and then... The slopes in. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's finish off the floor, and then we're going to attempt to purge. We're going to finish off this floor, then we're going to attempt to purge. Just to make sure they can actually get to us here. I don't know if we're going to have the... Uh, let's get you sorted. Some... Stabilization here. Um, I don't know if we want to put the... the uh, Treasure room upstairs or downstairs? Yet to decide. So far from an obelisk, but people run the green wall looking for players and bases. That's how you found me. That's true, because there are the people that go and build their bases right above the Silkwood. Yeah. Yeah, we are far from an obelisk. Like, the nearest obelisk to us is over here, Dagon's Eye. And then the sinkhole's the other one. So we're what? One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four. But this is not a straight shot. That's a ways away from obelisks, and there's no one up here. But I mean, then, um, who's it? Shaw? Who's over here? He's also in a relatively inconvenient, but my goodness, do people go through this? This river is a thoroughfare. That's the main way to get over here. This river. At least whenever I do it. I rarely go this way. Unless I'm specifically coming down to the Pagoda Bounce Lust. Otherwise, I usually go above. Just easier to auto run in. Auto swim. How's it going, Balinor? Tower bedroom? Yeah, we can either put the bedroom in the tower up here or up here, but I'm thinking I kind of want it on like a top floor in the actual castle itself. My thoughts. Oh, uh, let's see here. Reinforced door. We're getting a nice arcane reinforced door here. Nice and pretty, we can see inside. You like a room with a view? That's why I'm thinking that maybe we could have... We could put it over in this tower. Just because if we put it in this tower here, we've got a bigger view. But I think a view from inside might be cool too. So we've got floor one, floor two, floor three. We might have a fourth floor. Or we put it in the tower here that'll be way up in the wall. I'm not sure. Now, we'll figure out our bedroom later. For now, we'll just continue to respawn in our little bed over there. But for now, let's finish sorting out the, the room here. Jeeves carried my bags to the 13th floor. Oh my goodness. Poor Jeeves. Yeah, we don't we don't have elevators, do we? Oh, we, we can get actually we might actually want to install elevators, honestly. We'll have to go and get the fast elevators. Oh wait, was there the did the update was it, oh, man? I swear I should know this. The there is an update change in which now the 
um, fragments of power used at the library. Um, we can't get duplicates now, right? I'm pretty sure it's the case. So now we can just go there and use them until we learn all the stuff. There's no longer RNG. Oh, that's so good. So is there actually an, a, a path and order of how uh, of getting them? You'll need 40 to 50-ish. Yeah, the problem is a lot of them. No order? Okay, that's good. I was going to say, if there's an order, they better have fast fast elevators be one of the first ones you get. It's good gracious. I don't want to have to go and like learn all the signs and then get the fast elevator. I want that as soon as I can get it. Elevators are for the castle owner and guests. Stairs are for thralls and Jeeves the butler. All four Jeeves. We're going to need to get a Jeeves. We're going to have to go track one down. It's all going to come down to their hairstyle. I really want them to add the ability of using the orb of... Uh, oh, it's right here. Isn't it normally like right here? No? Yeah, it's right here. Orb of Nurgle. You should be able to throw a Thrall into the Orb of Nurgle and then uh, change their aesthetics. That would be awesome. I think that would be really good. I'm doing that. Because then you can uh, customize how your Thralls look. So we get some walls in here. Maybe we can get some with windows. We can see the throne room. Wall this off. So. Well, I don't know where that went. I think it went downstairs. Kind of. Phasing through walls, I see. So let's just get we just want to get the outline set up here. We don't have to enclose it or anything. Not yet at least. I mean we'll enclose the little box for the for the treasury, but that's kinda it, so we need to do. Go. This would be for like the main chamber. Okay. okay, so this is gonna be a this is a huge chamber. So we can cut this into different rooms. So we can get a dining room, we can get an um Maybe we have the throne maybe we have it circle back around on itself and have the throne room up a little higher. Maybe we have the throne room on the second floor. Not the basement. Not the main floor, but the second floor. And we have the first floor be... Like, we can have a kitchen. Uh, we can have, like, a kitchen here. We can have, like, a classy tavern here. And we can have the, the rattle. They're all in that tavern over there. So we can, maybe we have two taverns. This tavern will just have, like, thralls that we've dressed up properly. Basement is stores. Like, storage. We could do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we can get crates. We can use crates for that. That'd be nice. That'd look good. Use crates. Again, this is a uh, this is supposed to look pretty. This isn't going to be like heavily defended against players. We're going to be leaving these doors open. These these doors stay open during non purge hours. This is this is going to look pretty. We, we're not defending against anything. Go ahead and let's get back to work downstairs here. First floor kitchen, feast hall, maybe an armory? Hmm. I was thinking uh, we have the armory maybe be where I've got like this little resting nook right there. We've got these chairs. Maybe what we do is we enclose that off and make that the armory down there. So we've got the tavern on one side. We've got the armory on the other. Um, and then we need to make a barracks. 
not sure sure how I'm not too sure how we want to set up the barracks. Maybe we just make that the barracks and then we put the armory above it. So then like while you're on the ramparts you can get into the armory. So this is a barracks, you have a whole bunch of beds and whatnot down here, and then up here there's a floor. There's a floor here, and this in here is where the armory is. Something like that. Do something like that. Get these walls up too. Every time you hear me jump or fall, you look behind you. <laughs> hey, at least you're being uh, being diligent. That's good. Good on you. That way, your army can toss chamber pots on the purge. Hmm. So we can insult them while we're murdering them, I see. Hmm, a tempting offer. A tempting idea indeed. Let's go and finish off this wall here. I'm thinking we might have this be uh, two, two set. We might actually push this one further over. On this foundation here. In which we have like archers lined up here, then archers lined up here too. Not really, there's like no need for us to do this to be honest. This would be all aesthetic. So we can put all of our low level archers over here. Because all they're going to do is shoot at players during a raid window. Uh, they're not going to be fighting the purge. All, all of the ones from like here, or maybe like right here, all the way across, would be the ones fighting the purge. No one else would. You're pulling your medieval warfare knowledge out? <laughs> yeah, no worries. Let's see, we got we got to hurt the morale somehow, right? And what better place to look for inspiration than history? Okay, so let's get this floor sorted. Then with this floor done, we'll start. We'll test the purge once we get this floor sorted here. Yeah, we're building a massive base. This is bigger than I normally build. This is great. We're gonna have to get really, really creative with uh, filling things in, cutting places into cutting that overall structure into different um, different rooms as well as getting a whole bunch of decorative items in there as well. We're going to get very creative. I've, I don't think I've built something this big before. Got a massive footprint. Absolutely ridiculously huge. All right, we're going to need to go get more stone soon. Our brick production is slowing. We're getting towards the end. We have on hand. One of you, another one of you, and another one of you. Should be fine. Get you going. 153 that we can place. Yeah, we're still going to need to make more material to finish the entire build. Because we still have the wizard tower to build as well as the uh, next like two floors on the main castle here. But we're about done with the building that we need to do today for at least the purge tests. What the? Okay, bye guys. Bye. Okay, so we're also going to need a lot of. Per Hello. We need a lot of torches. Goodness. Can't wait until we have thralls around to just clear these guys out whenever they start doing this. Because then we can just run past and let our thralls clear them. So 
unfortunately, we are out of space here. We're now building into the terrain. We're going to have to figure out how we want to cut this up. Maybe we have, like, animals down here or something? Or we make this, like, a dungeon? Or they just, like, if they get dirt? I don't know. Some lighting in here, goodness. Yeah, it's just a very hilly area that we're building on. That's kind of it. The rest of it here is... It's not much we can do. Here's the way it's set. What we can do is we can go ahead and start walling this. So where? Here? So right here is where we can set this up. Have this be kind of like the outer space. Just cut it like this. This will give our stability throughout as well, which is nice. What do we need? And then we can cut these into different spaces. So we can we'll probably cut this in half as well and maybe get stairs from the other side. And then this we can't really cut in half, we'll just kind of leave it as is. It's like a big open space. I don't know what we'd want to fill it with. I haven't decided yet. We should have all the stability we need to finish off this section at least. That's good. Hmm. You learned in your college history books that castles with murder holes in the uh, barricade would close the inner gates and the portcullis and drop boiling oil and sewage on enemy heads. Um, usually it was rocks, wasn't it? Wasn't it just like massive boulders they used? Just because it was reusable stuff that could be easily grabbed last minute. Like the problem is like oils, oil back then was expensive. Like, oil was expensive, and getting a lot of it was hard. Um, so, wasn't it like there was the, like, the designs... Essentially, there's, like, a, a gate with an inner gate, so there'd be, like, this gate and this gate. And what they would do is they'd have, like, this gate... Like, once this one was breached, they'd have, like, a second gate that would fall down, and then everyone caught in here, there'd be a hole up above that people could be standing and, like, shove stuff down. Rocks for trebuchets and dropping over the walls. Ah, okay. So yeah, more or less the same then. I'm pretty sure there would be like a... Essentially, they, the, the murder hole they'd have would be like... More like this. In which, like, once someone gets through the gate, you just start chucking things down on top of their heads from here. And you have like a little... um. You'd have like a little wall or something to hide behind. So you'd be you'd be able to hide right here, throw down some rocks, then like hide here and grab another rock and then throw more rocks. Oh, punk. Nearly done. Yeah, we'll definitely need more stability below. This whole floor's nearly done. This is great. A little more material. Oh, it was pitch. Yeah, not oil. It would be pitch, because that would be a lot cheaper to get. Boiling water is also used. That makes sense. Really, I mean, you know, when it comes to defending, you just kind of do whatever you have to. Like, just grab anything you can. 
Right? You just anything you can. Because usually when you're defending, you got to be scrappy about it. You don't really get to decide when when the fight starts or how it goes. All right, so we got here. Oh, purge defender. We can uh, let's get that one set. Let's do that one. That's exactly what we want to do. It's the brick. Yeah, which is again the limiting factor. Constantly it's the brick. Although the shape wood's about to be. Luckily we can build that right quick. Got space in here? Nope. You definitely won't have any space. We're all, we're all still dealing with it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and dump them in here then. On now. Cut off. Alright. Finish this up, and then we can go ahead and do a purge tier one attempt. And the main thing we're going to be testing here is just seeing how far can we put the treasury, and they would still spawn to try and get to it. Right, so they're going to have two gates to get through to get to the treasury. Plus an additional door here. What we're looking at. There's no stability here. We need some stability. How are we going to build out stability? If I take that, that's going to cut out a little. Um, we can just put this straight down into, into the ground itself, yeah? Yeah, so we can just do that. Let's use this guy here as our main piece for stability. The issue is he's not going to be... We, we don't want him to be the only one, because it's a lot of flooring that's relying on that one piece of stability there. And it doesn't reach all the way. Ah, we're off by two. That's okay. Let's go ahead and Built this here. Oh, come on. Come on now. Get. Alright. Floor set. We now have uh, the floor for the upstairs and downstairs. I'm curious about let's just do a quick test here. If we decide to make our treasury this teeny tiny little box here. Right? If this if this is the treasury, I don't know if we can actually put it in a one by one. It's a temp temporary one here real quick. Uh, what do we need for treasure? And reinforcements and gold. Let's give this a try. Will they be able to make it through four doors? Can they navigate through four doors and stairs? Or do we need to move it to somewhere a little easier for them to uh, have access to? So we need shape wood and some iron reinforcements and our gold. And I'm gonna need you. Let's try this out. Gives us a go. So in the gate, first one. In the gate, second one. That auto and close, auto close. He does not fit in this small space. Okay, gotcha. But I can put him like here. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just um. These what we're gonna do. Borrow some flooring. 
put all that building material away. Bang. There we go. Enclosed. There we go. Done. So we've got them enclosed in here. There we go. Claim wealth. They're now scouting. Granted, they can skip this if they go around. No, they can't. Can they? Uh, maybe. If they go all the way around here, maybe. We're gonna have you stand guard here. Let's see if this works. Ideally, they'll spawn literally right here. We're going to have to see if they can path to it. I think it's going to fail. Yeah. Okay. That's my guess. Okay, so if they weren't able to figure that one out. So now if there's just one less door. Let's try again. So again, they were able to path from here to here before. You think there's no place near your base for the camp? Uh, it used to spawn right here. It used to spawn right there. All the time. That's how we had the purge start before. And we used to have this building uh, right in front of the base. So my assumption was... Oh, it worked. By removing that base, it'll give them the access, so it does. Because right here is where we built before. So they couldn't get to us before, so now they can. And this would actually be a huge spot for us to have archers. Rain and fire down from here. This is, this is big. Okay, so it was that one extra door. Now, I don't know why that door was the issue, but it was the issue. That's good. Oh my goodness, this guy's got a lot of health. Oh, oh my God. It's, he hits really hard too. Oh my. Sweet. Ooh. I whipped him. Come on now. Let's get back over here. Okay, so they are busting down the door. Good to see if they can. And it's not instantly breaking. Like it was back in the day. Down he goes. Down she goes. Let's just take them out. We'll back off. Guess we. Ugh. Can't back off fast enough before I start losing hill. The Sentient Soldier 3, I think he's supposed to be there defending the camp, not attacking us. Get her. Stamina back. There we go. Alright, so far so good. Now that we've gotten that big Stygian tier 3 guy down. Oh, I hear a guy in... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the camera was doing. I think our, uh, our gal is defending right now. I think she's under co uh, in combat because I heard someone inside. Because again, I think some guys are able to slide through the doors, so we'll find out in a moment. Damn it, please. Yeah, that gal is gone somehow. People fighting inside here? Yeah, see, she made it through the door. She somehow managed to slide through the door. I don't know how. Um, and you're not really defending... Oh, you're not on uh, combat, are you? Behavior, engagement, attack all in area. Yeah, of course she's not helping. I was supposed to... Yeah, look at everyone who just slides through the front door. I don't know how... Oh, no, I left the door open. No, no, no I left the door open. It's on me. That, that's perfectly fine. Hopefully she's gotten this one sorted. Good, good job. 
How are you feeling health-wise, lady? Yeah, and it's doing well. Yeah, these guys are just phasing through the door. Is that a thing that's supposed to happen? I feel like it's not. Anyway, that's what Anna's here for. Anna's supposed to stop them from phasing, uh, stop the ones that do manage to phase through. And so she did successfully do that with the one that did phase through. We did have to put her on aggressive, though. So I've forgotten to do that. But after putting her on aggressive, that was sort of... Health back. Down to back. I'm sprinting no stamina. Ugh. Like Big hits. Cobra exile, my bite is dead. Okay, back up. Definitely have to upgrade our healing. Oh, she hits hard. This cripple is brutal. Woo! Will that Panther be willing to help us out here? Just a little? I would much appreciate it. Nope. Panther's not helping at all. Oh, perfect. Okay, we got to the Stygian Hand of War. Alright. Oh, he's gonna die here. We're gonna die here. Brink. Oh. Brink. Oh! <laughs> Good Panther. Panther murdered her. Good Panther. Yeah, okay, I just have an archer and we can go heal up properly. Yeah, we need to get uh, better healing pots than the ones we're playing with. Some uh, proper concentrated stuff to be good to go. Oh, you thought you said apnea for a minute there? No, 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 you're good. No, no, Panther. Panther came by and gave us a big old hand. We can go fight the big old master of war now. Just get her stamina back. All right. There we go. Uh, where is he? Oh, oh, the camp's technically backwards. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, we pick up the keys first this time. Victory. All right, perfect. It worked. That's great. All right, so we do cages and then we do chests, right? Cages first. I don't think I'm used to seeing uh, high cranian. A new one for me. Let's have you sit there for right now. And how about you? Who are you? A thousand gratitudes to you. I a barkeeper. Huge. I shall serve you libations. I owe you much, but I, my talents are in the barkeep trade. I can keep you and yours happy with drink, and my ears suss out all manner of secrets and gossip. Huge. Oh my jeez, look at the look at the rewards. That's insane. That's some pretty good stuff in here. I was expecting like bottom tier garbage. Oh, we got a Smithy sign. Hey, small crates. Perfect. We were just talking about those. Huge. Interesting that uh the it's facing the wrong way, so that has to do with where it is. So we might have to move... Might, we might try moving the treasury over to here instead. High Cranian and Shemite uh, should be an archer. High range uh, damage modifier. Okay. Now we're going to have you stand guard. Here for now. I'm actually going to keep these doors shut. I'm actually going to close off the 
goes off the bar for now. So we can go ahead and build a bar. Cool. We'll go do that in a second. Let's go grab this archer here. Here too. Get her to hang out with Anna. But yeah, so we'll need to do another test where they don't run around that way. Oh, you know, we might want to push this back. Oh, that works. with Anna. Perfect. Uh, what do we need for a bar stuff? Crafting stations? Countertops and bars? We just need some wood. Oh, easy. Actually, what, we have two different types. What's the other one? I take the same. Perfect. One hit. Done. Alright. So I was thinking we put the bar in the corner here. Let's take a look. Which of these do we like more? Ooh. So I do like this one. This looks like the default one. This is the one we got in the battle pass. This one is nice, though. Well, that's tough on which one I like more for our setup. I think I like the default one a little more for what we're doing. And then we can use the other one for like an outpost or something. I think I like this one more. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Move the trophies. Oh, jeez. Okay. Put people on the bar. That's cool. Wait, what? Can I not put you, like, directly against the wall? I can here, but not here. Oh, maybe it's that stool on the far side. Okay, so we can put the bar this way. don't need windows there. That'd be crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up. Awkward. Right, skin. Right. Move. Actually, let me get full vision here. Move. Pretty close. A little closer to the wall here. Get a little closer to the wall. Nice. Oh my goodness, look at all the spots here. Okay, so I'm assuming she goes behind the bar, yeah? Oh, wait, what? She suddenly had a cup in her hand. Look at that. I'm assuming she goes here. What's your pleasure? Whoa, okay. Talk, trade, enlist contacts, goodbye. Trade? Go about your business. I'll be here. Ale, wine, mead, oh, absinthe, me. jungle rum, purified water, hearty feast, and bread. I can't remember what hearty feast gives you as a bonus. Okay. Drink cool. or talk? Contacts? Or both. Oh my good gracious, that's a lot of money. The tavern is the best way to end the day. Or start it. Or while away the middle hours of it. Wow, so she's a combat. You, you can actually have her what do combat too. Short days, long nights. I owe you much, but I am wasted as a fighter. Right? All right, inventory. I'm like, where? Right, let's, uh, let's get her actually clothed with some proper clothes here. Uh, do we have any gloves? We don't have any gloves. It's okay. I owe you much, but 
I am wasted as a fighter. Or you can keep a katana on you. Okay. There we go. We'll get her a uh, more, like a different kind of attire, but at least get her like cleaned up, yeah. All right, cool. Go ahead and let's move this taxidermy guy. It's shoe bill. We'll put the shoe bill underneath. Funk right there. And we can go ahead and get these up. Shoe bill's not all that impressive, so we'll put the shoe bill like in the corner. The gorilla's more impressive, so we can put the, the gorilla over. And the same goes for the tiger. Tiger over there. Nice. Okay. Um. Small crate. Small crate in the corner. Oh, we got a whole bunch of wooden benches. So we can just put these in here for right now. We'll need to get tables and like in here. That's just treasure. Smeltery sign. That'd be cool. Kindling fires. Cute. Nice. Um, do we need kindling fires anywhere else? Oh, you know where we can stick kindling fires that are pretty cool? Check this. These are always cool. You can do candles, but you can also do kindling fires. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, this one doesn't have them. This one's got a lamp. Pretty cool. Those kindling fires go, go hard. Holy, look at how much flame comes out of these suckers. We're a snazzy, jazzy place now. Is there anything else that we want to place while we're here? Standing sign? What's this look like? Pretty big. Chuck this over here for now. Find a spot for the smell three. Need a band to play? Yeah, we need a band to play now. Anything else we got? We got wall signs. I don't think there's anything I really need a wall sign right now. Let's take a look here. How big is this? Tavern. We need a better sign. This sign's kind of garbage. Oh, wait, there's some shoes. One second, ma'am. I owe you much, but I am wasted as a fighter. Inventory. You got relic hunter shoes? No, no, no. Stitching shoes. They fit with the rest of the outfit. I still don't have gloves, so that's the one thing we're missing. Okay. So, do we just like come back later, and there's gonna be some people in here? I don't know how this works. Let me get a little bit more done here. So one of the issues we had was that people were just walking around here. So we're going to need to do another purge attempt. But with this blocked off. Because they walked around. I want to make sure they try and get through this. But it might be interesting, you know, it might be something we build this as the bottom floor is the treasury, and then the higher floors is the mage tower. That might be what we do. Depending on how this goes. There we go. Put that back up. Treasury boy. Have some what? Oh. Okay. Lay it on the ground. Gotcha. 
No other treasures. No other treasures. It's tier two now. Oh my goodness, look at how much that's worth. Green's treasure. Oh, we can... Oh, that's it. We can change things into gold. Okay, that's what you were mentioning yesterday. Okay, I see. Now let's go ahead and at least give you some better armor here. Well, this is strength armor? Strength and agility armor. That's not helpful. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hmm. What kind of boots is still better than what you got? Okay. And then how did this fare? What's the durability on you? About half. Why is this so damaged? Huh. I'm surprised at how damaged those walls are. I was expecting like maybe one damage per, but nope. nope not at all. Uh, hello? Sir? <laughs> Silly rhino. Doors are for people. these archery targets, get rid of these pants, we don't need an axe, uh, let's get rid of, oh, it's a powerful bow, hold on to that, swap out our old junky bow for that, wall signs, we'll let those go, all those, we'll swap these out, yeah, keep the powerful bow, and we'll break down the old one. Basic truncheon, we'll hold on to these kits. Balance kit, there's a balance kit. This one out. Your bark, do we have any hides? Nope. So many insects. I don't know exactly what we're going to want to do with these guys. Oh, wrong one. Not you, you. And you. I'll extract. We'll take that. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're bugging out hard for sure. you in here, because it ran out of that. Bam, more hardened brick. Bam, more normal brick. So we need to go do another normal brick run. Run out of iron. Iron. Hold the iron. We'll do a little maintenance here. Steel rolling. We don't have any extra stone for you to play with right now, but we have stone for you to play with. Goes off. This off. Run off. Throw it on the ground. Because it's useless. Ooh, actual empty flasks. Nice. We don't have to make them ourselves. I appreciate it. Oh, we can't do that with... Oh, this is dance instructions. Psh, don't throw those away. Learn Yog. I think we already learned that one. Yeah. Nice. So we can now tell our dancers how to belly dance. That's awesome. Take everything out of there. Uh, we're playing with the leather version. Memory... Yeah, memory serves it as better. So drop the basic one. Hmm. You want to see this belly dance? Yeah. We don't have a dancer, unfortunately. But. We now know a handful of dances. We know a good number of dances now. Uh, we can always run around the world and pick up the rest of them. 
But this means that we can now tell our dancers to do this dance, which is good. Your hips don't lie? No, they don't. Oh, no, they don't. Put this off in here. Got like silk. Twine. Um, hides I don't need to carry. More iron that can get smelted down. Things to burn. Burnable things. Um, it's more brick. Not sure why you stopped. More iron. It's more bees. And shade bloom, which is quite nice. Good to have. Drop off this bow. Let's keep that going. Fiber. More stone can solve it. And then we can go drop off the queens. There we go. Yeah, no, they died on the way, Green. Green, they died on the way over here. I put them down to remove our corruption yesterday and they got murdered. <laughs> We're gonna have to go and get ourselves some new dancers. We we must be entertained. We properly entertained. Oh, there's no one in the tavern. So how do we get people in the tavern? Now we got the barkeep. Do do people show up on their own, or do we have to just put people on the bar stools? Oh my goodness, we can do it too. Nice. Drink or talk. That's awesome. Two, three, five, five, one, one gold bird. Holy jeez, it's amazing. We don't have, oh my goodness, this is so good. To get purified water for cooking, you have to make glass flasks and then cook them, which then loses you the glass. This is amazing. They'll show up eventually, even if your base is in the middle of nowhere and doors are locked. Okay, cool. This is great. Oh, you get to... You get to pick how much? It shows you how many it is, how much is required. Crystal clear water, trade. Is there a way to do, like, more at a time? Right. Cool. Alright. Nice. So here's the thing, we need to test this again. Let me pick up that plate. We stay at tier one. Uh, so we're gonna need to test this again where they can't walk around, so they have to go through this gate too. But I am slowly leaning towards the idea of turning this space into the treasury over here instead. Oh, can you not pick these up? Oh, you can. <laughs> they just completely crumble. I'm, I'm starting to think we turn this into the treasury instead here. Instead of the castle. Let's go grab some more building materials. Let's look at moving it over there. Didn't grab the wall. Let's look at moving it over there. I think that might be a better spot for us to have the treasury anyway. Ooh, the frames. All right. Here we go. Uh, we'll leave the treasure and the dummies and the water in here, because why not? Speaking of water. Definitely need to get fountains online soon. I really want to go get some Mitra fountains. Dock them around the castle. As this place is starting to fill out. This is looking good. There's still some redesign we're going to need to do. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to build this up, and then we're going to have to redesign portions. The wall needs to get fixed up a bit. I still don't like how this gate looks. I still want to get this cleaned up a bit more. 
Uh, and this castle's gonna need some serious work, because right now it's just a big old square. Stop blocking in place. Just chill out. Chillax, will ya? Okay. So we're gonna move you. Move you over here. Let's go and let's clear this place out and let's go and expand this. And we'll get the blueprint, or at least the footprint, uh, set up for our treasury sorcerer tower. We can always move the sorcerer tower over there to that corner if we want to, but I don't really want it on the main wall. That doesn't feel like where a sorcerer tower should be. The sorcerer tower should be in like the far back, right? The most easily defended or like the furthest away from harm. Right, because sorcerers are, you know, weenies when it comes to melee combat. We really don't want them nearby. Right. So if we... That's the direction that you're built. No, you're built looking the other way. Looking into the wall. So let's start off with just a nice good down. Okay. Flat foundation set up. And just a good old fat square set up. And then let's go ahead and we'll triangle wedge this out and round it out here. Alright, so let's round out this entrance a bit. We need a little extra space anyway. Like that? No, I think, I think we actually cut it here. I think here's a good spot to cut it at. Okay, we'll get some foundations. What the? Huh? Let's try it again. I don't want to do this because I want to round it, but I'm not doing this. This is not how you build it round. So we went started with a square foundation start. We should start this with a circle, shouldn't we? How's it going, man? Alone? How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. How have your streams been of late, by the way? You put it in the furthest, highest spot you can find in your base. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Got the wrong thinking. If the base is going to be raided, there's no difference uh, based on placement. Oh no, this isn't to defend against players. This is this is purely this is purely just uh, for like, the roleplay reasons. This isn't to defend against players. Uh, defense against players will be outside. This is this is all going to be just this is a static. This is for the purge. The purge isn't even going to go and attack the sorcerer's tower. At least they shouldn't. No. Uh, well, they should because we're thinking about making this be the um, not just the sorcerer's tower, but also where the the treasure room is. So if we want for a circle instead, we expand this out. We can do that. Doing all right? Good to hear. Good to hear. I'm doing well. Just build up since it's a tower. Yeah, I think we're just going to build it tall. I'm trying to think about how I want to snug it in here, though. Right, because we want to kind of just like slowly build into the wall. If we start off our circle here. We get our squares. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I 
I feel like maybe I need to go even taller. Maybe we just raise this whole thing by another level. Yeah, I think... Okay, okay. I see, I see. I think we just go one higher. Uh, build it on top of your factory as well, next level. Um, on the factory outside? On that guy over there? Or over here? So over here, I want to, like, build rooms and set up a whole castle. Kind of the kind of the thought for that guy. This uh, this isn't going to be defending against players. This is this is supposed. To, well, I mean, we could technically build it up later with proper anti climb and the like, uh, using the the walls here, and just build anti climb walls going up. We we could, but currently I don't have plans of using this to defend against players. Oh, on the ten by ten. Yeah, no, we definitely need to get just our basic sorcery up and running anyway. And doing it on top of the 10x10 is probably going to be our best bet. Alright, so I'm feeling pretty good about this build already. It's pretty snug here. It's going to be touching the uh, stone on this side. It's going to be touching the stone on this side. So it's going to feel snug. We're going to try and awkwardly expand it by one more. I think this is what's going to need to happen. We're going to have to figure out how we want this to interact with the inner courtyard. This is going to get a little tough. <gasps> with just how tall it is. This is, this, is a very, this is a very tall building that we're, that we're making here. And if we're going to be putting the treasury in here... I guess what we could do is I could hollow this out a little. Maybe put the treasury below it. Now that we have the kind of the footprint idea. I'm gonna hollow this out. Maybe something like that. that go there Does it? I'm gonna fill this little gap. Hmm. You could build all one huge complex. It could look like sick, uh, like walls six thick. We could do something like that. I mean, we kind of want it to be a big complex. Yeah, so now it's it's in this wall, and it's in this wall. So going up with the tower is going to look pretty cool. So now the main thing is how to get to it. Because as we tower up, we're going to get tougher and tougher to actually get inside. go nice and clean so I'm thinking we can actually just bore in here this will be our entry point <laughs> need that there and then if we did there's no triangle stairs unfortunately we'll just do Stair here, stair here. This here. Continue to bore into this a little more. A 
have to go up one more floor. Yeah, let me do kind of like... Just put this here for a hot second. Because I don't think I can walk through that on the stairs, right? No, I can't. Go ahead and we can bring this out a little further. And to access it, you'll need to actually delete the walls. Yeah. So this is going to be the tough part here. So we're, I'm trying to bore this out so we have like a lower floor and an upper floor. Now that we've got the uh, the spiral, uh, the uh, circular structure built. So if we went and did this, like so, we made this a floor. Make sure these wedges are looking the right direction. So this right here would be a decent floor. So maybe we push it up one further. Maybe the one below is a little too low. Now, We'd have to make a pretty grand staircase to get up there, though. Are you talking about a solid structure without any doorways at all? Hmm. Could try something like that. It was basically just, uh, just thinking out of the box. Hmm. Maybe. It's just not a space with that there. Okay, so if we instead went one higher, we'll leave this how it is for the moment. Let's say we went one higher so we can actually get into it here. This would work. We could properly hollow out the full center in here. And then we could go ahead and build stairs up. The next floor. Ideally, it would go right here. It don't technically work with the flooring style, but it does It does fit. So it goes up to the next floor, which is kind of squished. If we had a little more space... We could then walk around here and then build up further. It's unfortunate we can't really get a staircase here. Uh, one thing we could do with a staircase is we could put it right there. Again, doesn't quite follow. No, it does follow, so that is good. We could do this. And then build our floor up here. And then so essentially, whenever you get into the wizard tower. Come on now. Yeah, I'm away. When we get into the wizard tower, you enter through, you hit the the like the small room down here, and then you go up. And essentially this whole section here just stays as foundations and ends up being thick walls. Oh my goodness. Stop jittering, please. Thank you. We end up essentially doing this. Put in solid foundations. But there's there's no actual other space. It just makes this a, a solid hallway. Right? This could be something. Now, if we switched from foundations to walls, we would have significantly more space. 
right? Because then we would have all of this space here. So it would really open it up further if we didn't go with foundations and instead we swapped the walls, which we could start at this level. We could clear off this level here and just make it all walls instead of foundations. If we did that, I would want to bring this back one further, though. Make the staircase kind of nuts. But, we'll kind of interesting. Let's see. If we get a wall or a ceiling here. There's not enough stability for this. Uh, let's get a, a little more stability here. Okay. Essentially, we walk in, the wizard tower is just this massive, massive walkway up here. Because this would work. We could then turn this into uh, ceiling and have this be all just foundation blocking this. Looking the right way? Yeah. Um, and then we just go ahead and we take out the ceiling. Foundation here. We'll clear out the inside down there in a minute. This is just more for a proof concept. Yes, yeah, so and if we did this, we made this all walls, we have significantly more space to play with. We can then still leave these as foundations in the back here. For a stairwell up. We get up to the next floor. We can go for a... Figure out how to give stability over there. If you build walls like six or ten foundations uh, thick, you can hide your treasure room in the wall without any direct access. Jeez. I kind of want access to it, though, um, and I, I wanted to make sure that the Purge can get to it. And I know the Purge is very finicky, but I kind of want to avoid doing anything like that until we know for sure that the Purge is going to work. For the moment, I kind of like this idea. But it is good to know. That could be good for it, like, if we want to set up the Purge base somewhere else, which we will at some point. No stairs needed. Just sleep walls to access it. Hmm. I don't know if the purge can start if you do that, though. And as soon as you start the purge, you can't do any building. They won't let you build. So I'm not sure if it would work like that. Triangle here. Triangle here. Triangle foundations. For now, but I'm thinking we change this over to walls so we have more space. Right now it's a little it's a little tight in here. You know, so it's a little it's a little tight in here. So we can go ahead and get another foundation block here that's now consistent. That's the main treasure room. Give have additional rooms after that? Yeah. Okay, so if I put a door here and we can we have the, will the purge work? There's so many spots it wants to sit on. There we go. If I put a door here... We put this here, would this work? Huh? Five times the pop at 2 a.m. versus 2 p.m.? 
Five times? What do you mean, like two people? So confused. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough iron reinforcements to go build a new one. All right, let's try moving them over there and see if we can do it in there. I am curious if we can do that. Let's see. Because if we can get that to work there, it will be in good shape. Because then we can have the bottom floor before the the treasury and it'll be away from the main castle so we don't have to worry about our beautiful shiny castle being destroyed it'll only end up being like the entrance to the mage tower and so it'll come through here and it'll hit here and we can kind of try and make this a gauntlet of some kind We'll go back to stations. We'll go back to, I don't know, decorations. Treasure. There's a coffer. The coffer guy over here. Out. Okay, so then we go ahead and we dump this stuff in here. Claim wealth. So I'm assuming it's going to struggle to find its spot here, but since we're moving it to the other side of the castle, of the courtyard here, it shouldn't spawn over there. It should instead spawn here-ish. And it should be facing the correct direction this time, because last time the front door was on the wrong side because it couldn't orient itself properly. I'm assuming it's going to fail, because I think it doesn't like stairs. Man, that looks really bad. <laughs> Having the... Going from foundations to walls? Yeah, you can't figure it out. Going from foundations to walls? It's not that good. I don't like that. We're going to have to change that up. So I'm not surprised. Put this guy up. And here's the other question. Is it just that height, or is it any height? Because what if we change it over to this guy? Because we have this little downstairs spot that I left, just for us to test, just in case the other one failed. And if we go down to this downstairs part instead, and go ahead and we put him in again. The guy. Claim wealth. Just build foundations around the walls. We can do that to thicken them up, yeah. But I, I want, we need to make sure that the purge actually works first. We cannot see anything. It is dark. Can't wait until we get torches up and about. It'd be great. Yeah, so this is all enclosed. You can get up to it. There's stairs here. I'm still assuming it's going to fail because I don't think the purge likes stairs. Or maybe not one one wide stairs. Maybe it wants two wide stairs. Or three wide stairs. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so maybe we can't with the way that they we're designing this. Maybe it's just not an option. We can't get the treasury at the bottom of the sorcery tower, which is fine because we've got other things to put in the sorcery tower anyway. And we're definitely going to change this over to walls instead of foundations. At least, I'm hoping we can. Yeah. We could put it back in the castle. I like the idea of putting it over there, though. Not really anywhere else within the compound that I want to set it up at. I'm trying to think of any other location we could stick it. Fortunately, we're doing this at night. Most lighting here. But yeah, so we have the sorcery tower that I'd like to build up to, like, maybe that height, or maybe a little bit higher. It, I, it needs to be taller than the castle. So it's going to it's gonna need to be tall. But I think we are going to swap it out from foundations to being walls. 
I think that definitely needs to happen. Hmm. It, it would just be really nice if I knew why the purge can't get there. If it explained more than can't find path. If it was, like, if there if there was more information for me to go off of, like, it doesn't like stairs. Which I think it doesn't like stairs. I feel like that's the problem. Let's go test on the, uh, with, with that wall in the way on this guy over here. Because now that we put this extra little wall here to block them from just walking around and they have to go through this gate, I'm curious if they're going to be fine with going through here again. I'm not sure. Let's get us another whirl. Damn you where you were before. Dump these in here. Claim again. So, we now have these two instead of just the one. It couldn't figure it out when we had the extra wall here. So that didn't work when we had the extra wall in the, the door. So, with two gates and a door... But not being able to bypass one of these gates, can it find it its way? I'm assuming the answer is going to be no. I don't have. I have. I have no. Uh, no trust. Very low expect. Yeah. Very low expectations. So yeah, it can't figure it out here. But as soon as, and I think it's because it's stairs. As soon as we remove this, as soon as we pick that up. It's going to have no problems. And the thing is, it does deal with stairs to get up the first time. But after that, it's bypassing these stairs and this uh, this gate here to go around here. So I'm wondering if it's because the gate's right next to the stairs and maybe they need to be back further. Because we have them back further on this guy. And it has no problem with these stairs. It's also three wide. Just like that one's three wide. So if we move this back... Maybe? I don't really want to move it back, though, because it's going to mess with our setup, so we'll have to move it forward. Yeah, so if they built where they have before, so that's good. We like that. Hmm. And then I bet if I go ahead and I just... Yeah, that's right, you can't build. Block that. Uh, here, let's go ahead and have you come with me. Get some levels on you while we're at it. Like the cobra. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they just do that. <laughs> just hang there. I'm not a fan that they just slide through gates. Get him. Okay, well, he's gone through the gate. Oh, <laughs> this guy's gone through the gate, too. Go get him. Oh, she's got him covered. I don't have to pay attention. Yeah, he's not going to even fight back. Yeah, it's a little annoying that they just scoot themselves through the gates. Any purges yet? Yeah, we're, we're working on purges. Captain's log. Might not be able to get one in time here. But, uh, yeah. By the old serpent. Invaders! Never return to us. In the name of Set, identify yourself. Have to be very careful, though. I will cut your heart out. God take you! Okay, yeah, she took him out. Door. In the name of Set. Go ahead and attack. Oh my goodness! This Panther again. All right, you hold the door. I'll clear this Panther. Oh, there's a head. Oh, she came by. Oh. 
We'll kill that guy. Oh, the gate's down. It's awkward. Our other person, is she gonna be aggro? Die! I can easily accidentally kill her. So she's she's doing a good job. She's holding. Holding the line. Good job. Alright, it's going well. Is she getting any experience? 7-3. Yeah, she's getting some experience. 3-7? No, I don't think she is. I don't know if we're getting any experience off that. We'll kill this guy. Seven three. What do you get when you kill him? Taste oh. death. Are you getting no experience in the purge? Oh, that's a real pain. I guess that means that I don't have to feel like I, I need her following us. We can just set her to defend. I guess there's no door here now. Go down, you go. Right, we'll get her back on this door over here. Oh no! Wait, what? Okay. It is leveling. Alright, perfect. Alright, she survived it too. It's great. Oh my good gracious! Seriously. <laughs> They just keep sliding through foundations and walls. What is this? Cover me. Take a quick drink. Oh. I've got no stamina. Oh, we're going to die. Well, hopefully our follower doesn't die. Uh, bedroll, please. Closer. I couldn't back off. Man, healing is so tough. Because uh, you take it, you, instead of attacking someone, you're spending time healing. Um, and if you get hit immediately after the starting of the action to healing, you instantly stop the healing process. But you need to be able to avoid dying and then kill. Uh, did she kill him? Awkward. So she killed him, but I don't know where his body is. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go zone it in here real quick. Quickly run. So she murdered him. But um, because that happened while we were dead, his body isn't uh, rendered, so we don't see him at all. Can we have followers just shoot arrows from battle stations? Yes. Yes, we can. We will do that, but we need actual arrow boys for that. Yeah, healing's tough, because like we'd start the healing process and immediately take damage. Using all that health gain. Come on, Missy. Let's go, Anna. Fill that on our way. We gotta run! And followers stay where you put them to defend? Yeah. And not rush to defend you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have them set up to do that. You can tell them to do that. Absolutely. And a purge. That was from our last one. Uh, can your archers hurt you? No. Uh, our We can do friendly fire to our thralls. Our thralls can't do friendly fire to us. So, we're, we're perfectly safe. They can't hurt us, but we can totally kill them. The problem with this, with the purges, I'm usually killing our thralls. Because we hit so hard. We take out most of their health in a couple of hits by accident. And, and or they end up bleeding to death from our bleed effects. So having all your melee by the treasure room and ranged by the wall. 
Um, yeah, that would absolutely work. Yeah, that'd be a good, that'd be a good way to do it. Goodness, I need to get rid of these. It's all the way. There he is. He's rendered in directly on top of my body, so she must have came in and got the final swing afterwards. There we go. Now we got the keys. Go just cut myself up and cut him up real quick here. Yeah, he's already starting to fade into the floor again. All right, we got to quickly go and unlock these before that guy uh, before they disappear. We've had that problem before, and you chill there for a minute. Please listen. There isn't much time. I have a proposition. All right, what you got? What's your proposition, buddy? You will not regret this. I promise. Ooh, we got another barkeeper. Okay. Not too sure what to do with him. We got a second one. Uh, what about you? Who are you? An exile one. Okay. That's special. Components of what? Advanced warfare? I don't actually know this one. A harp, shaleback egg? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay. More crates. Oh, geez, okay. Got an abysmal sword. Nice, nice. Oh, we got some barrels. Cool. A blunt chaplain. Tables. Hey, we got some more kindling fires. Nice. Don't one of your allies lose their barkeeper? Yeah, we can go and bring that to um, Etio. Oh, he's guarding. He's going on combat mode. Yeah, Etio lost one. Not too far. Sorry, I meant to have you follow me. <laughs> My bad. Alright, follow. Follow me to the bar. Actually, let's go and stash him in here. Gun garden there. Uh, Atka is not online right now, but... Um, or Ito? Ito? Ito. Uh, they're on, not online at the moment, but we'll go over there and ask them off. Alright, you, sir. Follow me. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll grab Anna in a second here. Followers will make the purges stronger? Yes, I believe they do make them stronger. I think you're right. Just gonna have you chill out up here with this this gal here. Up, oh, sure. You know what? That's that works fine. Good work. Keep at it. You you guys got it. I believe in you. New gate up here. Uh, we're gonna do some like repair on the walls though. I'm just surprised with the damage that was done across all this. Ah. Luckily, we just mostly care about that. And yeah, look at that, the stairs. We need to make sure the stairs don't fall on us. Hmm. My goodness, wow, those stairs took a real beating. Okay, next up. Yes, yeah, so we need to figure out how to get the purge to go where we want it to. That's the main thing. We have to figure out how to get the purge to go where we want it to. But we can definitely circle back around on that. It works where we have it right now, but not exactly ideal. We're in it. Leave Anna over here. Oh, we got a bunch of garbage. Go ahead and drop these off. 
building. Bricks. A lot of hard and nice. Okay. Breeze ears, harp, bunch of hats. Oh, Zath. Nice. Zath at religion learned. Cool. Did you check out the tavern? Um, oh, we haven't double checked. Yeah, to see if there was any uh, any new people that have shown up. I'll do that. Take a peek. Lids off. Yeah, I know we're gonna cut these hats down. They are not pretty hats. They're okay. But I don't really like them. Well, we'll take the bracers to the lady, so she's at least got a full set. We'll need to get her a better uh, a better kit though, so she looks nicer. She deserves to look fancy. She's in charge of a bar. She's supposed to look fancy. That off, drop this off. What is that? Wait, decorative iron bar? I don't know. What, okay, I guess that's something we put on the ground. Let's we'll figure that one out. We look at fancy clothes. Yeah, we're gonna have to look for some fancy clothes. We've got the basic uh, barkeeper, the Vanier barkeeper armor. We could go with that we've got, but. I think there might be some better armor we can find. But for now, we're at least going to get her a full set. Yeah, no, one, no one's moved in here yet. Let's at least give her the gloves. But I am wasted as a fighter. Be consistent. There you go. Real perfect. Behind the bar. So we're gonna need to go and get ourselves some dancers. That's gonna be a big priority. We can get some dancers now. Yeah, I'll just give her a basic setup. We'll sort her out later. We'll keep that other barkeeper guy for um Ito. Go ahead and pass him along. Else need to drop. Now we got more things we can Struck though. Another X. Did it break down? No, I didn't think it did. Sword's not that great, but we'll hold on to it. It looks cool. Might be something to use sorcery with. Cut off. It's off. Bunch of bandages. Look at that. Silver blue dye. Air kits are totally worthless. We don't want them. Chillback Aglis, hold on to that. Beneficial. Lasting feast. Peace. Okay, we can press out these seeds. Drop off the resin and the like here. I could solve it. Lungs. Low tables. We're going to hold on to those low tables for a moment. You wonder if the lack of tables and chairs is why people are not coming to the bar? Maybe. Um, either that or maybe they don't come during a purge. Right? Like during combat. Like maybe like that would kind of make sense to me. I don't know how long it takes for them to start showing up. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I had a feeling you have no space still. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hear about this. Those meats. Wood. My okay, goodness, just so much stuff to drop off. Um. This guy. Go ahead and break him down. Cape Blossom. Over here. 
And our inventory is nearly done. Okay, and the rest we can sort out. This weapon, we'll just leave in here. All right, and the rest we can start placing. But we're going to go ahead and end it here today. We're going to end it here today. So we have gotten a good amount of building done. We've got a whole bunch of resources. Oh my goodness, big yawn. Uh, so we've got uh, a whole bunch of building done. The basic blueprint is sorted. We've got a lot of resources rolling now. We've got our good, like, a good production system set up now. Um, we're now just needing to figure out the blueprint of the where we want the treasury to be and how do we want to do the wizard tower. Once we get those blueprints done, the last blueprints we need to do is the barracks slash armory and the watchtower. So we, we're getting really close. We're almost there on getting everything all sorted. Then once we have the blueprints, we're not going to like build out everything, but once we have like the footprints and have a setup of like how we want to actually like build it and then like everything's more or less set in stone, um, then we need to go and finish sorcery so we can go get a transitory stone um, so we can go actually transition from here to where our thralls are faster. That'll help us with getting brimstone. That'll help us with getting the thralls. That'll help us with just moving around the map in general. And then by grabbing a whole bunch of additional thralls, then we can start going and focusing on training thralls for purges. So we can start aiming for tier 5 purge. I want to be the tier 5 purge really badly. <laughs> I want to at least get halfway through the purge levels. And then, you know, ideally we go and we beat a tier 10 purge, but tier 5 is our current goal. You know, I got to put them within arm's reach. Put them in arm's reach. We're going to go ahead and end the stream here today. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be playing even more Conan Exiles. We'll go ahead and try and finish up with the blueprints of the build and focus on sorcery. That's going to be our goals for tomorrow. Finish up blueprints, finalize where the treasury is going to go, and get sorcery finished. That is our target. And then after that, then on the weekend, we can aim for trying to get up to tier 5 purge or higher. So have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I will see you all tomorrow for even more Conan Exiles. Take care. Bye-bye.